go. Yeah. All right. I just started early if you guys are popping in because I wanted to be able to set up. So I know it's very early, but I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> All right, there. Um, are you still there? Yes, there we go. Okay. Okay, good. Nobody's here. It's just me blabbing to myself trying to set up the camera. Yeah. Sorry for those of you watching the replay. Go ahead and skip ahead like five minutes. <laughs> I don't know. I actually don't know how long it's going to take me to set this up. All right. You're on my swivel chair. I'm trying to like angle it. There's the bookshelves. I might have to angle you down because I'm probably going to sit there. All right, let's see if I can pull it up online now. Hello, everybody, if you're coming in. I look a hot mess. I hope you can see me. <laughs> Ow, my ankle. Let's see. I don't know how... Aha, there it is. Now I can pull it up on my laptop and hopefully see what you're looking at. see if anybody's here. <laughs> don't know what's happening. Hi the Goblin Quinn, welcome. I did start pretty early, but I just wanted to get the camera all set up and everything. So <clears throat> we'll wait for some others to pop in. Oh, there it is, one watching. How are you? Thank you for joining. I know I'm super early. I'm very quiet. Oh, I think the, hold on. All right, is that better or worse? Or I can just talk louder and turn the fan off. Hey Dawn, welcome friends. Everybody's starting to pop in now. Hi guys, welcome. I know, I'm like sitting in the weirdest position. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? That's better? Okay, cool. I think the um, tripod was blocking the mic. My bad. Troubleshooting. Let me plug the phone in, actually. Oh, crap. Um, I want to plug it in, but I want you guys to be able to hear me. Maybe I'll just talk louder. Let's see. Hold on. Sorry, I'm going to jiggle this again. I don't want my phone to die like mid live stream. There we go. Move it now. All right, can you still hear me? I can just talk louder. <laughs> Hi, y'all. Welcome, welcome. We'll get into the coloring books here in a second. I can see. I never know how to do lives. Yay, loud and clear. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. <clears throat> I think it put out a notification. Hello, hello, everybody. I'm so excited to do this live. <laughs> Not only is it going to get me organized, but you guys can help me, like, figure out what to do. <laughs> I don't know how I want to organize these books. They're just everywhere and they've been everywhere since I moved in July. <laughs> That's horrible. Hey! Hey Coloring My Way, Lisa. Welcome. I'm feeling okay. Um, for those of you that don't follow my Instagram, I, <laughs> I have COVID. Fun. Um, but so my voice is probably a little scratchy, um, but other than that, 
I might have to like step off and blow my nose <clears throat> at some point but other than that I feel totally fine I never got a fever I never got like nauseous or sick so honestly I thank you um I have been okay through this whole thing it's just more of an inconvenience with not being able to go to work but it's let me catch up on coloring and reading and some of the and starting to like plan my year um so that's good hey mandy welcome <clears throat> i'm gonna regret sitting like this that's okay all right three minutes i'm just gonna kind of chat and we can wait until five o'clock and hopefully more people will pop on um because that's when i put it up as so i just started early because i wasn't sure how to set up the camera <laughs> but this should be pretty good and i can always move it around then instagram 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 what are you organizing books i i will be um I'll start here in a little bit once it probably around five ish <clears throat> um, but I'm organizing all those coloring books back there because they're all in a jumbled mess and I don't know what's what and then I also have this massive pile two massive piles this one and then um, this my, my bed um, I believe this is like whips and I think it has like my 10 books to finish in 2022 um buddy colors and stuff like that so yeah sorry for the typo on my name you're fine hey Jamie oh my gosh I've missed you how are you <clears throat> Yay, I'm so, it's like getting the band back together. <laughs> it's so fun, I've missed you guys so much. <clears throat> cool. But yeah, um, I, it's probably gonna get, oh, whoops, there's a coloring supply in there. Probably gonna get way worse before it gets better, but at least, uh, at least it'll get done because I've been meaning to do this forever and just haven't. Sorry if I'm looking down a lot. I'm looking at the chat. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. How do you shelf? How do I shelf my books? That's a good question. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be trying to figure out, Quinn. Because um, before at the old house, um, I have a small bookshelf like straight right in front of me. Um, I guess I can like swivel you guys and you can see. Uh, maybe you can see. Let's see. I'm afraid the tripod's gonna fall off the chair. I have you on my desk chair, but there's like, there's my reading books that are also a disaster because I don't have enough space, but there's another book in the hall, a uh, book, another bookshelf in the hall, so I might utilize that. Um, but I had them on there and I had them in alphabetical order. Um, so by author or uh, artist, not author, um, So I'm debating on if I want to do that again or if I want to do it like, I spelled it right, oops, in the car. Oh, <laughs> oh geez, I hope you're not driving, Jamie. I doubt it. You're probably driving. Um, hopefully, if you're watching this live, are you traveling somewhere? <clears throat> um, but yeah, I have them in alphabetical order and then like color by number separately. But now I'm debating on if I want to do it <clears throat> like by theme. I don't know what's going to be easiest. And I also think that I'm going to, um, I'm still waiting for grocery. Oh, grocery pickup. Okay. Gotcha. That makes sense. That can be a pain in the butt. Yes. Um, <clears throat> I forget what I was saying. Yeah. If I want to organize them by theme or what, oh, and then I'm also hope like, I'm probably gonna like unhaul some stuff tonight because I just don't I, there's just some books that like I feel like are a lot of the same 
that I'm not gonna color in. So, and I'm just in like the purging mood. Like I've, I went through like clothes and stuff. Like I just wanna get rid of stuff um, cause I've got too much crap. So tis the season. Woohoo, you were early, Ugg. Yeah, I was a little early, sorry. But I haven't done too much. <laughs> um, sorry, Danielle. I just, uh, <clears throat> I wasn't sure how long it was going to take me to get the setup for this right. And it's probably still not right, because as soon as I stand up, it's going to be, like, you're not going to be able to see anything. <laughs> so, it'll be a lot of up and down, but that's okay. Give it a couple more seconds here. Idea for purging free little libraries. Yeah, I guess I could shove coloring books in there too, huh? That's a good idea. <clears throat> I want to do, because like I know Michelle um, at Kits and Caboodles, she does like live stream giveaways. Um, so I'll have to like pick her brain a little bit and see how she does that. And do some giveaways. Hey Michaela! Welcome! I'm gonna get some stuff done while I watch this live. Thank you! I've missed you too! Um, yeah, I've missed all of you guys. I'm so excited to like reconnect. <clears throat> but yeah, before I do that, I just need to like organize myself because I have no idea. Well, I mean, I have an idea of what stuff is, but... It used to be organized and then it wasn't and then that kind of put me I think it's is some of what put me in that color like a coloring slump because I just didn't know what I had anymore and like plus just life got in the way unfortunately I need to purge too yeah too many books um I just know there's some that like I'm probably if I am like completely honest with myself I'm never gonna color in like uh just some of the more zen doodly ones some of them I will. Like the actual Zen Doodle books I'll definitely color because they're adorable and like I purchased them mindfully. But there's some like like the stress relief, these print work blah, 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 print work books. Um and I know some of them, I don't know if Steph is here, but she um gave to me when she was moving. So I was just like, oh yeah, cool, like that'll be content for the channel. Um but realistically, am I ever gonna color in them? Probably not. So and she said that I can do whatever um, I want with them, like use them for giveaways and stuff. So I'll probably do that. And even just like giving some to like Goodwill and other thrift stores, um, I think will be like good too. <clears throat> so yeah, well, I guess we can go ahead and get started. <laughs> <coughs> excuse me for that um but yeah I oh, I don't even know where to start y'all it's such a mess because <laughs> I also have like my tiny little books down here um because they're so small they get like lost on the shelves so I had those separate too oh my god I think I'm just gonna have to like pull stuff down and and start uh, what do you all think? Let's make, let's have a vote. Start from the bottom since then you don't have to move the camera. <laughs> That's a good idea. Uh, I guess I could start with this massive box that has just been piling up books and what's on my bed here that you also can't see. Hey Michelle. I feel okay other than just being like kind of stuffy and coughing every now and again. But other than, I like, I really don't feel bad. And that's almost worse. Because <laughs> I'm missing work and like, all that. But definitely need to be safe and not spread this thing around. Take everything off and start from the bottom. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to take everything off. Let's see. I can kind of kneel on the bed, I guess. I think you guys can still see me here, maybe. And they... Apologies for that. Oh, maybe not. All right, let's see. Let's just tilt you up. <laughs> Hello, close up. Um, tilt you up a little bit. Sorry for the wiggly camera. There we go. That's better. 
There, now I think even if I move, you can see like the whole thing. You may not be able to see me, but yeah, mostly. Purge books, brave, I couldn't do that. I've tried. <laughs> there's just some that like, I know I won't color. Like there's a couple off the top of my head that I can think of, but we'll get that, get to that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start with what's here. Because some of these I do want to keep out. So like the my what very well loved Square Mandala's book I want to keep out. I'm so close to finishing this. I think I have like 10 pages if that. Let's see. <clears throat> One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> Not three. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I do so good. One. Oh Jesus Louise. One, two, three. Four, five, I think it's like eight, six, nine, eight, seven. Oh, seven. Okay, so I have seven pages in this. Um, I was also looking at goals earlier this morning because I got the new beautiful Creative Companion from Ruby Charms Colors. Um, and this I used last year, so I decided to get a new one. Um, so like I did start setting some goals um, for myself, like monthly and yearly. Excuse me. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of the book, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> so I kind of want to keep some of these in mind as I go about going through these books, I guess. I thought that my thing cut out. So that one's going to stay out because I, I do want to finish that book. Um, I also have a buddy color going with Yvette. Um, from Instagram and I believe she's over here oh, coloring ecstasy I think is her name on YouTube um, so I do want to finish this one we're planning to like do a chat and finish this um, <clears throat> so I'm excited about that so that stays out that's Johanna Bassford's um, World, Worlds of Wonder and then Square Mandala's by Belba Family I'm so far behind on like new releases and stuff so <laughs> right from like right now is when we start over <laughs> and I catch up on videos and like um I mean not like totally catch up but like I don't get behind hopefully on videos watching videos and filming um and so on and so forth so um we have Feeling Good Today by Sally Berry which I have colored a lot in holy moly I went on like a rampage in what August yeah right before I before I went home or when I came back. Ooh, that's glittery. That's fun. Woo! I don't know if that caught the camera at all, but... So yeah, I like this. I think I can take the tabs out because I'm not going to do a completed pages at this point in time. So that one can go back on the shelf for now. This one I haven't colored yet. And this is the Big Easy Coloring Book by Sally Berry, and so sadly I never got to like review it. It just felt like too much time had passed, so um, I didn't do a flip through. But any of these books, if you guys um, want to see flip throughs or anything, just let me know and I will try to make note of it as we go along. But yeah, this one's fun. It's just like super simple pages. <clears throat> that can stay out for now. And then Merry Christmas. By Sally Berry with the quotes. So I did do a flip through of that. This one I also want to keep out, Creatures of the Night. Um, I don't know if Tammy's here. I don't think she is, but we're doing the buddy color. Well, she's done hers, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> we set up the buddy color like way back in October or even like September, and I never got to it. But of the bat um, holding the teddy bear. I didn't even slide the page. And then I just like completely forgot. Like I don't even have a good excuse. Um, but this is by Sarah Richter. Where is that page? <clears throat> While I do this, what are you all doing? Are you coloring? Are you organizing? Bullet journaling? What is happening on your end? It's in here somewhere. What the heck? I literally flipped. Is it one of the first? No. I don't know. I'll find it. But anyway, that book's got to stay out because I have that buddy color to finish. 
that's one of my goals this month is to catch up <clears throat> on buddy colors that I've missed. Um, Summer by Kara Shoshneva, Color by Colors. That one can go back on the shelf. I'll go in the color by number ish pile. That was my forever whip with fairy miracles. <clears throat> crocheting and also looking at my shelf and wondering if I need to do a move around myself. <laughs> Hopefully I'm inspiring some of you guys. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is my forever whip and I really like how it's coming along, but it intimidates me. So I keep not doing it, but that one's still going to stay out in my box because eventually I'll grow the balls to, to do it. And then we get into the 10 books to finish which was an absolute fail for me this year, so I'm probably not gonna be doing that. Um, Danny just finished actually putting the Christmas decor in the little attic, or in the attic instead of boxes in the guest room. Nice. We still have not taken down the tree because when I got sick, I was like, can we just leave it up a little longer? But I haven't been able to enjoy it because I can't really spend a lot of time in the living room so my roommate doesn't get sick. But yeah, so yippee ko -yay. Again, another favorite um, that I need to color more out of. And I haven't even touched or done a flip through of the second volume. I'm like, oh, that's just disgraceful. <laughs> My little cheapo dollar store mandala book. I forget who the publisher even is. I don't know how I feel about this one, but I've done quite a few in here. So like, I don't really want to get rid of it. But I mean, the paper's not good. I usually use gel pens. Some of them are like way too intricate. But I'll hold on to it, I think. Who is the publisher? Kappa Adult Coloring. I don't know. I want that book. I don't know where to get it. Which book? Actually, I was planning on reorganizing my crafting coloring closet too, so this is the perfect time. <laughs> yes, go eat, fuel up. I just heard my roommate get home and she picked me up the smoothie from this. True Nature Smoothie Place. Amy! Oh, you're fine. I started way too early. Anyway. Oh, she's knocking. Hello. Oh, thank you. You're Hi, good. Sorry. I'll stay behind the door. This one? Yeah. Oh. Probably. It looks dark. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Enjoy. Thanks. <laughs> Have fun tonight. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to be home for another couple hours. Oh, okay. Cool. It's, um, I don't even remember. Hold on, I gotta look at the screenshot, but it's like a, it's got protein in it. Oh, she did shut it. Which I need because I haven't really eaten any meat recently. <laughs> it's thick. Ooh, that's good. I know it's got coffee in it, peanut butter, chocolate, obviously. I can't remember what, like what the base is, but it's very good. Um, the Yippie Co. YA one, let's not put it on the books, is you can get off of Etsy, Quinn. Um, Danny the Nanny, or Fun Usual Suspects is the author. <clears throat> artist. I keep saying author. I've watched too much booktube, y'all. Um, this one I also want to finish. On my goals, I put like finish one book, um, except if it's halfway done, but then I like cross that out because I remembered I have this one that I really want to finish this year. So we'll see. So that one will stay out. Keep calm. And this one I was planning to color way more with Kathy, but it did not happen. Welcome to everybody who is popping in. Thanks for dropping by. <clears throat> Who's, oh, I think I only did one in here. Dang. Yup. So I would like to color more out of that. That can go back on the shelf. Um, the Dover Famous Fairy Tales. I do like this book. Just never colored anything in it. I don't know why I picked this one. Like this is just setting myself up for failure. Yeah, you're Shane Live. Hey, Tull. How are you? I know. It's been so long. But I was like, this is the only way I'm going to get organized, or at least somewhat. <clears throat> so 
in my drawing. Are they still making books? Um, this is like their sampler, like 40 pages. I don't know if I want to leave this one out or not. So if I don't know, then that's probably a no, so I'm gonna put it back on the shelf. And then splash of color. Uh, the reason this was on my to-do, to finish, is I need not get any Vico IA2. Okay. It's a good one. It's very cute. It's super fun. And the paper's great. Um, <clears throat> but the reason I put this one was because I know Nikki and somebody else were doing like a buddy color along with it and trying to get a page a month done. Now that I'm looking at this, I'm not sure. I'm just not sure if I'm ever going to color it. We're going to put this one to the side. Mm, I don't know. We'll put it to the side. Oh, and then Winter Dreams is like the little postcard book. Maybe put the books you haven't worked in on the on their own shelf. Oh my gosh, that's like most of them. <laughs> but I could I could try. Um, but yeah, these are super cute. I wanted to do some of these for Christmas, and then just I was like, look at him. He's a little. He looks like an elk, but I think it's supposed to be a reindeer. Um, but yeah, this is Winter Dreams, the twenty postcards from Hannah Carl's on. So this one I will be keeping. Alright, so the ones that I want to keep out for now are going to go back in the box. <clears throat> oh, my knee. Uh, maybe I need to have a moderator. I don't know that person, but. Hey Ashley, welcome. I'm glad you were able to make it. Welcome, welcome, y'all. <laughs> That's so thick. <clears throat> Why am I not get chips from the US? Oh, um, I think it does. Quinn, where are you where are you at? Oh, <laughs> you're glad you could make it. I was like, wait, what'd I say? <clears throat> um, yeah, and then we have Magic of Mandalas 3 that uh, Jay Sony so kindly sent me. And I printed it all out, so I didn't want to, like, just recycle them. I was like, well, it's already printed. I'm just not sure what to do with it. Um, I have, like, I have page protectors, and I also have, I don't know what they're called, like, folders. But they have, like, the tab on the end. Um, so I might put it in one of those and stick it on the shelf. I'm not sure. Because I have his other book as a PDF too. One of my favorite that we just, I posted the video of the other day. The UK. Yeah, I don't know, like, what shipping is for the UK. Like, from that, from her in particular, Danny Banani. But, yeah, I think it does ship from the US. I think she's in Philly or something. I just pulled that out of my butt, but I, I don't know why I think that. <laughs> um, but yeah, 50 Christmas miniatures. I do want to color a Christmas page this month. That is on one of my goals because um, Elizabeth Rector is doing her Color Your Christmas Word all year. Um, so I do want to do that. Dang it. Oh, Seattle. Wow. <laughs> I was way off. Somebody's in Philly, I think, or something shipped from Philly. I don't know what it is, though. I got that for my niece for Christmas because it's so great. The 50 miniatures, I know, it's so cute. It's definitely my favorite. Look, look, look at that. How can you not just melt? So adorable. Um, then I have the um, <clears throat> Coloring Heaven magazines from the last few months. I'm on the fence about this one. This just came, um, The Gods and Goddesses. We'll have to see cost of it. Yeah. Oh, custom. I didn't even think about that. Like, it going through customs. It's just a book. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I got you. So yeah, the Gods and Goddesses is special. Like, I like the art, but will I ever freaking color it? I don't know. And I have somebody who, like, may enjoy it, but... Because I know she's using the Happy Color app. I don't know if she actually physically colors. So I'm like, do I send it? 
just for the heck of it. Yeah, I love my miniatures books, they're my favorites for sure. I was also thinking <clears throat> about doing like an annual, uh, year long color along, like Angle Cova annually 2022 or something, um, to color in those books and all of her books, but I don't know. Or I could just do the monthly one uh, in August that I've done before. I have been mad about coloring heavenly lady. Yeah, me too. Or did you shut up? Whoop, what happened? Okay. Yeah, I've been learning what I like to look at and what I like to color, not the same. Yeah, exactly, Danielle. Keep thinking I want one so but then I get one I love. I know. Because I love the Christmas one. This is going to go in the maybe pile. But I love this Christmas one, even though it was kind of like disappointing compared to the other Christmas ones, but I still like it, like most of it. Like the Micah Jelena pictures are really cute. <clears throat> the Zoe Sadler ones I'm like meh, but. But most of them are really pretty. I love this. <laughs> Look at the little penguins. So cute. I love penguins. And then, yeah, again, this one I will never color. But I know, again, that same friend is into, like, anime. But I will never color this. It's all cat girls. And that's just not my thing. So, this one's a definite giveaway. We'll put that on the floor. <clears throat> my advent calendar book that I got, like, three pages done in. I'm so sad. <laughs> but I have plans for it. It's not... Yeah, I got up to day four, and then I went on vacation and never colored. It's never a set artist, yeah. No, I have a feeling. Yeah. There's only like a few in the back of the Christmas one. Yeah, I wish we could reliably find them. At yeah, if I could just find them, at, like if I knew they were going to be at this store every month, I would probably just buy, like, go look and see and then buy them, but yeah, we can't do that here. <clears throat> Every now and then, like, Barnes & Noble or something will have them, which is super random, but, <laughs> but yeah. So, I do have a plan for this, um, for July, so it'll get done. <laughs> just didn't get done when I wanted it to. Oh, these are, nope, those are papers. There's the folder. These are, um, split colorings. Sorry, Michaela. <laughs> I'm hiding. Um, they're still in here, but they're going in my box so that I hopefully get them colored this month. Um, and then I have a whip in here, so I think I'll probably keep this one out too. See, I set goals and then I go overboard and then I don't finish the goals and then I get discouraged. I need to be better at, like, compartmentalizing, but I'm not. I've seen them oh at Michael's a few times, but not ever. Not every issue. Buy a few a year at the store. Yeah, exactly. I'm right there with you guys. I would totally buy them if they were in the stores, but they're impossible. <clears throat> Got the autumn color by colors. Funny story with this one. <laughs> I bought them to send for the um swap um for Ren. I bought this and this, I think. To send to her and I accidentally sent them home to Pennsylvania um <laughs> so then I was like oh well I'll just I'll just keep them then when I get home I'll pick them up and I'll keep them um and then uh Monet gifted me this one for the summer swap um not summer swap thankful swap um so I gave the copy that I had bought to my mom for Christmas and then kept the one that Monet gave me and it was just a whole, a whole ordeal. <laughs> Nothing's ever easy. <laughs> 50 Christmas elves, that one I'm keeping. And then Art Nouveau. Did I buy this? Or did she send me this? I think I bought this. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I can't remember. Autumn. Yeah, the autumn one's pretty. And I hate sending the calendar. Yeah, I get that. I usually look when I'm there, but 
my Michael, the Michaels around us are not that great, so <laughs> they don't usually have a great um, coloring book selection. Um, yeah, this is the Art Nouveau coloring book. Who artist did it? <laughs> Who artist did it? <laughs> Who? I don't know. But like, this is super pretty. And they are like kind of zen doodly, but I feel like. This one I would definitely color. Like they're simple enough. They're not too crazy. Um, chickens. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. But they're chickens. Squirrels. Yeah. Like they're cute images. I like these with the animals and stuff. So this I'll definitely keep. Rose Windows was gifted to me by Monet and I love it. Um, I've been wanting this book forever. It just, for whatever reason, like the images are so simple, but it intimidates the crap out of me. <laughs> I'm like, what if the colors don't look right? What if I choose too dark of colors? Like, I don't know, it scares me. But I do love that. And then my grandma got, got me a couple of these. Um, they're dot to dots, but then you could like color them in, of course, but they're dot to dots. So. We'll see. I'm gonna hold on to them. Um, and then this one's greeting, this greeting card, so I'll put this. I think I'll work on these throughout the year. And then I'll put that in my box. And maybe I'll try to work on those throughout the year so that I can send them out when Christmas comes. My friend in Oklahoma Oklahoma gets hers in Walmart. Okay. Oklahoma? <laughs> okay, I don't know this. <clears throat> Walmart is meant to stock it as well. In the in the States, Coloring Heaven, Walmart's supposed to stock it. I've never seen it in Walmart. All of her seasons ones have so many birds. Oh yeah, that's true. Heaven's laughing on my auntie. Okay, that does make me feel better. <laughs> But they're in my box so that they can get colored. Because I really do want to color them. I might actually do at least one tonight. Yeah, maybe they just sell out fast. Do the creepy sun first to break the seal. In Rose Windows. Oh, I hate the creepy sun. <laughs> That's true, because then if I F up, it, it's not like the end of the world. Where's the creepy sun? Oh, that one's creepy too. That's upside down. I don't, I don't like that either. Is that a creepy moon in comparison to the creepy sun? You know what it reminds me of is the, the sun baby in Teletubbies. <laughs> oh, here, it's on the back. <laughs> oh my god. I'll have to, like, intentionally look now, but I have not seen it at Walmart. Hmm. Maybe, like, the first of the month I'll go <laughs> and, like, see if it's there, just for the heck of it. But they have been coming on time now, which is weird. Because usually I don't get them till like the end of the month. Mm. Tammy! Yay! <clears throat> oh, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Get what you need done. over his windows I'm on my second copy that's awesome it is pretty it just I don't know why it scares me it shouldn't it's like I know I can use my markers and they'll look great yeah the sun baby's weird <clears throat> um and then I have this teeny little Christmas ornaments book that uh, Monet sent me too it's so cute like oh they are ornaments I guess you could put them on your tree that's fun put this in the small books pile okay I made an even bigger mess like I don't know I don't even know what's happening now I should probably start alphabetizing at least right we think we're gonna go with the alphabet instead of I think it's also with the global situation yeah yeah <clears throat> it is wonky um Yeah, I think I'm gonna, all right, let me grab, 
color by numbers out if there's any in here and color by colors which I know there's a couple. Autumn summer. Should put the dot to dot probably with that. It's coloring heaven. We found it in there. Uh, color by number. But I kind of want to organize them by like holiday. I don't know what to do, y'all. Ouchie. I say crayons work best in notebook. In uh, Rose Windows, crayons, or the the little this one. I'm not sure how I did it. <laughs> it would make sense to anybody but me. That's amazing. Well, and then there's that. So I'm like, well, if this makes sense. I don't know. I'm just going to start pulling them off the shelf. I'll move my, my box here. <clears throat> um, I also have this other giant box under my bed full of books to give away. At least I think. I think these are giveaway books. Yeah, they are. Because they're ones that I don't care for. So... But if I lift it, it'll fall apart because I can't lift that box. It's already falling apart. Goodness. Okay. Excuse my tush. Alright. Um, well. I think most of these are color by number and then it just like all heck breaks loose. Some random crap in here too. What the heck? Alright, let's see. Actually, let's go through this other box first. <laughs> Thanks y'all for bearing with me. I hope you guys have fun watching me struggle. Then I just clump them. <laughs> Wait. Over his windows, okay. My shelves are narrower, so I have more categories, but I do one Disney, two top favorite. Oh, that's good. That's a good one. Three color by number, four non color by number, five Christmas. <sighs> Maybe I'll never find anything. That's the problem. I don't know what works for my brain. I just clump them by artist. My non CBN isn't very organized. Well, that's what I was thinking was like, because I have all the Disney books, and this top shelf is like pretty tall. Like, these are the grand classics, and they fit up there. So they definitely have to go up there, like my massive books. <clears throat> so I'm thinking of just like putting all the Disney ones together, but then I have like these tiny ones. Uh, this is tough. Okay. Let's just start. If I don't start, I read this thing that like, um, oh, motivation comes first, or starting comes first and then motivation comes later. So here we go. Uh, yeah, all my CBN books are on one shelf. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for sure is the CBNs, but I want to put Disney up there too, because then I'll put like, I have these two spiroglyphics, they'll, they'll go with color by number two. I'm pretty sure all of these are color by numbers. I should be showing these to you guys because basically this is like my coloring book collection too, as of the beginning of 2022. <laughs> Tiny books are hard. Yeah, because they get lost. So I do usually keep them, especially like this thing. That's going to fall behind the shelf and I'm never going to find it again. So, Alright, so I have the villain spiroglyphics and the Harry Potter spiroglyphics. These are also small, but they're colored by number. But they are they like stick on the shelf okay, because they actually are a little too long. So they stick out further than the rest of the books, so I think they'll be okay. Then I have my circulism. Um, I think I have a couple of these. Circulism art books, color by number. Such and such, day of the love treats. Oh no! Yikes, that's never getting fixed. Let's try to smush it between two books. Oh, I'm dropping peanut butter. Whoa. Ugh. <laughs> Alright. So I'm 
Single family party patterns. This one's Kira Shoshneva. Um, Color Quest. Jade Summer, Jade Summer. Oh, there's like really no. Bravo Family. And then, I don't even know who this is. Sanaz Bach. Do I want to keep this one? It's Birds and Butterflies. Am I actually going to color it? Probably not. Maybe, because it's colored by number. Just like this little dude, little owl. Keep my little ones on my desk. I don't have any desk space. <laughs> well, I do. I guess I could keep them like under my desk. We'll see. Dollar Tree basket for the teeny tiny ones. That's true. We'll see. I just need to see how they actually fill the shelves once they're organized. Never band them together. That's smart. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Because the pictures are in here. And I don't really care for them. I'm gonna put that on the maybe pile. Or the chuck it pile, I mean. Chuck it. That sounds mean. Color Questopia. These are like somewhat organized, but not completely, and I don't understand it. Because these are all Color Questopia. And then I have the Sachin books. Alright, Color Questopia. Do I only have four? One, two, three, four. I thought I had another one. I think I have another Christmas one. <clears throat> But also I'm tempted to get rid of some of these because I like the black background so much better. And I don't want to color in the lines <laughs> anymore. Like I think I've grown past that. But I don't really like how it looks when you don't color in the lines. I don't know. Especially this one, it's so freaking intricate. <clears throat> Owls is fine. I don't mind having that one. And this one was also gifted to me, so I don't want to get rid of it. And then Christmas. Where's my black background one? Where's my owl's one? Yeah, I'm really tempted to like, and I know that seems like such a waste, but I'm tempted to just accept the owls because that was gifted to me. Um, and it's more simple. Um, but I'm tempted to give them To do a giveaway with them. Honestly, I think I'm going to accept owls and the Halloween one because I've already colored in that one a bit. Like, I think I did quite a few pictures in there. So, I think I'm going to do that. Don't judge me, y'all. Because <laughs> if I buy any more now, I'm going to buy the black background ones. Kathy blew my mind the other day when she just colored all over the mosaic. Parts. I didn't see that. <laughs> like she just did the whole sky blue and ignored the lines. <laughs> that sounds very Kathy and I love it. I saw that I was like, oh my god, why haven't I thought that? <laughs> it's very true. Now now you all have me second guessing. I'm too anal for that though, I think. I think that would make me crazy. I'll try it in one of these. Because chances are these aren't like actually physically leaving the house for a while, so. I'll try that maybe on the owls and see. And if it freaks me out too much, I won't do it. <laughs> Alright, now I've just got a big ass, excuse my language, big old mess. Alright, let me move these out of the way. That's Sally Berry and other random stuff. Alright. Zelda. Color Questopia, Kira Shirshneva. I also need to label a lot of these books still. <laughs> I said for keeping a book you never want to, yeah. <laughs> K 
getting the vapors at the bottom of it. <laughs> this is summer drawing. It's option. Big summer. <clears throat> um, and then, yeah, okay. Alright. I think I've got my piles all straight. Oh, and then there's George Duplexus. <laughs> Creative Haven. Another pile. Where isn't that other colored vinyl in the book? Oh, it's in my box because I'm gonna color it, color it. Finish that page. What's this one? Oh, mystery colors. I forgot I had this. I think this is the only one I have. <clears throat> Alright, mystery colors. That one also hides on the shelf. These are Sachin, Sachin, Sachin. Random maze book. Okay. I think I thought this would be fun for like plain eyes. I think I'm gonna hold on to it, but it needs to like get out of here for now. Aha, here, or no, these are some like drawing. I ran out of labels, so these are hard to read. Sunlight, sunlight, sunlight. Love of mice is sunlight. These are all some like drawing, I think. Yeah, all the color quest. These I will color. All right, some like drawing. <clears throat> the pointless book. This I also don't know that I'll ever use. A lot of this came in like the coloring and classics box that I get, which I'm gonna cancel once this one's done. This one's some life drawing, but it's not, this is not color by number. Okay. Was this one gifted to me? Oh yeah, Kathy sent this to me. I try to keep like the slips whenever I get stuff with like who gave it to me, but sometimes they fall out. These are Jade Summer, <clears throat> but they are again not color by number. Yeah, these got really messed up when I um, moved. This is also not color by number. Alright, so that I want to keep. I like that book. The Land of the Disney. Okay. <laughs> what a mess. Y'all still with me? Mostly. <laughs> Alright. We've got the Disney books. Grand Classics. This is two. This is Cats and Kittens. I don't even know which ones I have anymore. Um, Pointless books. This is also random just because they were big. The grand classics. And then I don't think Vitro will fit on the shelf. <clears throat> Shall we try? These are all the other Disney ones. What's this one? Got the minions. Grand escape. Sweet dreams. Random. There's the color, whatever, Questopia fantasy book. Christmas fantasy. What do I do with the other ones? Oh, they're right there in front of my face. Just started collecting the digi Disney matches. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, nice. That's fun. I think I only, I don't think I have one. I just, I buy them sparingly. Two and six. <laughs> Apparently. I thought I had more than that. They're probably- I bet it's in this box. We'll- we'll find it as we go, I guess. What's this one? Oh, that's my special effects book. Um, this is also irrelevant at the moment. Color charts, so is that. Those can go on my desk. Crossword puzzles? I'm never gonna do that. 
mind games. More crossword puzzles. I do have people that I can give these to. Oops, reptile Lloyd snuck in there. Put that on the tiny bookshelf. <coughs> Maria Angulkova. This one's also freaking adorable. Romantic miniatures. I just love them all so much. I love her work. Alright. I'm running out of space, guys. I'm like trapped in the corner. Daydreams, artist edition. See, the problem is with some of these fit on the other shelves, yes. Because I know that's why some of them are up there. Ah! I knew this was going to get worse before it got better. I need the cats and kittens yet. Wish they would sell. I know. Yes, that also kills me. I always think I love puzzle books. Yeah, but I never get exactly. I want to hunt some down while I'm there. Yeah, for sure. My roommate has a friend in France, and I'm like, if she ever finds books on sale, like, I can give you a list. I know she works in an art supply store, too. The corner is my home now. It is. I, this is where I live. <laughs> Forget anything else. This is my life. is also too big to fit anywhere else so it's gonna have to stay up here and it barely fits up there but this is the um oh this is daisy fletcher i thought this was somebody else but it's so pretty <clears throat> so i'm gonna hold on to this one for a little longer i think i got it at joann's on sale i would like to use watercolors in this i think because it is double-sided like barely even fits on that shelf so we'll see I may have to like lay some down eventually <laughs> puggy corns oh, also will probably not fit anywhere else as well they're just spiral bound these are some that I'm not sure if I want to keep so let's see I don't think I'll color this one I like quote books, but probably won't ever color that. This one I do remember really liking, even though it's birds. <clears throat> yeah, like, look at that. That is gorgeous. The hot air balloons. Oh, this one I'm torn on. This will go on the maybe pile. <clears throat> at least if you're stuck there it will force you to yeah that's true <laughs> that's true let's see oh coloria coloria mandala is this one i'm definitely holding on to but again i don't know if it will fit anywhere else so it may have to stay yeah it's gonna have to stay on the top shelf and this one too i think this is another oh no this is color it mandalas this I will also keep. They're just so nice. And I do like mandalas. I need to color more mandalas. They intimidate me too sometimes though. <clears throat> and these are the mandala stickers. I have used a couple of these. But I'm like, I have those two nice books. Am I ever really gonna like actually do these? Probably not. So this could go in the donate pile because there's stickers taken out of it. I don't want to like give it to any of you, but I'm sure somebody at Goodwill would be happy to find it. All right, and then we have my Pooh Bear book. Look how cute. Again, I don't know if I'm ever going to color it, but that was not the point of this book. <laughs> this one was from Korea. And I probably will color it, but it's just so pretty. It's the whole Winnie the Pooh story. Well, it's like just the illustrations. So that will definitely stay here. 
And then Midnight Masquerade is obviously staying. And this is Thomas Kincaid, okay. So, Disney books. <laughs> I feel like there's more, but I don't know like where they, the heck they'd be at. Oh, Vitro, that's what I was gonna do, was try to find, see if Vitro will fit on stock. Can you show the poo one again? Yes. Um, I have this one. <clears throat> um, this came from, I believe, 70s books on Etsy. And it's got a postcard. Oh, there it goes. A postcard. Um, and then it does have a couple. This is tough. <laughs> illustrations and then the story is in Korean but and then it's just the um story time guys um yeah it's just the illustrations then of like the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh I think the movie it's so cute yeah it's on um Etsy. Again, I believe it was 70 East Books. I think. <clears throat> if you find it, let me know. But yeah, I keep everything when I get foreign books because I think it's cool. <laughs> and then I do have this Winnie the Pooh one too. <coughs> Which again, I, I know I'll color in. I don't know if I'll color all of them because it's a lot of like wallpaper. But this is, um, Match it here is too, I think. Yeah. But like some of them are, are awesome like that. So this one you can get on not book outlet, the other one. Book depository. I'll look after this. Okay, sounds good. <clears throat> so yeah, more tiny books. And then yeah, the Thomas Kincaid, which somebody also sent me. Ellie, Ellie sent me this one. I have to look into the 2022 coloring companion later after the stream. Oh yeah, I love it. Um, it's here. I'm planning on doing like a goals video or like a what's in my coloring bag. Uh, <clears throat> maybe I'll film that tomorrow. We'll see. I'm trying to go by size now because they're all Disney. And then I have the Kaleidoscopes one. This one I know came from 70s books. But it's so cute. So cute. Um, and then this one was just Disney. Um, it's on like watercolor paper, but I got this in the parks. So, yeah. This one I bought for the nostalgia of it, but I like it. <clears throat> oh, I don't remember what this one's called. I think it's Disney Seasons. It's getting really heavy. <laughs> The, which one do you have, Toll? The, um, this one? I can't think of what it's called. But this is Disney Seasons and it's super cute. <clears throat> These books scare the crap out of me too. So, I wish they would come up with like a foolproof way to poo, yeah. Um, I have not seen the 50th one. I've been trapped in my room for how long? Uh, building a Disney park in the UK, that's awesome. I know there's um, the France one, which is like the closest you guys have at the moment. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I wish they would come up with like a foolproof way to like coat your pages so you could use alcohol markers and double-sided books. Like, if I was smart enough, I would invent something like that. And then this is just another nostalgic book, The Art of Coloring Disney Princesses. Um, I know Jamie, if you're still here, you were doing your art book stuff in here. So that's why I held on to this one, because it's a, <clears throat> a lot of wallpaper pages. But I will admit, um, getting rid of any of the Disney books will probably not happen. <laughs> And then I have all the parks ones. Princesses, 
um, Nikki and Friends, and then this old, old, old Pooh Bear and Friends that you can't even get anymore. <clears throat> Alright, so let's organize these puppies. Let's see if the tray will fit on the top shelf. Probably not. Nope. Oh my gosh, it's like a good like three inches above the shelf, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this one. Oops. Should I stack books on top of it? Maybe that's how I should do it. Let's turn it this way. And then I can put books on top of it. That's probably a bad idea, huh? Gesso. Does, Jess, does it really work, though? I've never tried gesso. Sorry, guys, I'm hot. I'm gonna look even more like a bum now. <clears throat> My baggy t-shirt, but I'm hot. <laughs> I can't stand it anymore. Gesso. Interesting. I have not tried that yet. Alright, um... Color by number books first, or... Yeah, color by number first, and then that one. Oh, there's my other Thomas Kincaid book. I was like, I thought I had two. Alright, so we'll do two, six, and then cats from left to right looking at the shelf. I'm like, come on, you were just up there. Alright, and then ABCs. I love this one too. I saw this on um, Reading with Pugs channel. Freaking cute. it's falling out of like the cover which is unfortunate danielle i think you have that one too right these big books are hard to store they are wait i'm like did i order vitro too i feel like i did and i don't know if it ever came i guess we'll find out <laughs> And then I'll have to go back in my Amazon history. That was so random, but... Could you lay it on top of the shelves? I probably could, but I have stuff up there, too. I'm afraid I'll forget is the problem. Yes, ma'am, and I bought folio things in case they fall out. That's smart. I love your Korean Pooh Bear book. It's so cute. I know, right? Yes, it works. I've seen DD use it many times. Huh. All right. I've always been afraid of gesso, I don't know why, but... <laughs> Alright, ink and paint. This, can you guys see the top? Ah! Ah! Can you guys see the top of the shelf? I don't think you can. Um, but I have a... Well, it should fit. Oh! Ah, uh, my painting. My friend made this for me for my birthday. Isn't that so cute? He's piglet. He's so adorable. <clears throat> so I'm trying not to knock that off the shelf of the book. There we go. And then I got this off of Etsy. It's just a Pooh Bear story book, but it was like old and vintage. Unfortunately, it kind of smells like cigarette smoke. But a piglet kind of day. So cute. Just had to have it kind of dumb but it's so adorable and it was cheap <laughs> all right well that's good enough it can sit kind of on the edge it's not gonna fall all right prize position up there sorry <clears throat> there's a acid spray it has a gritty texture oh acrylic I know, right? Isn't it cool? She uh, drew it and stuff. And stuff. What's it doing? I sound like an idiot. But yeah, she drew it. <clears throat> Alright. So, we have the Disney books. Um, I feel like I am missing some. Okay, I was like, I'm missing bigger ones. Alright, we'll put Art of Coloring. Actually, Art of Coloring is going to go probably in front. Paint. Seasons. I'm gonna have to label that one because I'm gonna be like, what the heck is that? 
um, kaleidoscope. Thomas Kincaid, Korean book, and then little tiny dude up there. See, even these little, like they're not that little, but they kind of hide because they're shorter <clears throat> on the ends. Maybe he's still down here. I feel like I've got a different one down here. Enchanted faces and down there just like playing hide and seek. Alright, and then oh man, I forgot these. The regular books. Use it to give my canvases a second coat. Okay. Huh. I'll have to try it and just see what happens. I think again, I have no idea what is in that box but we'll figure it out as we go, or in this pile. So, <clears throat> all right, um, let's do color by number. I wanna go alphabetical. I feel like I need to go by how many books I have. <laughs> Cause I could go See, now this is my problem because then I get stuck with, um, because like Belba family, but then circulism art, I'm not going to think of it as Eclipse. So do I put it in the C or the E? Probably the C. All right. Let's do spiroglyphics first. That's easy. See how they stick out funny? So random. And then... A, B, C, Creative Haven or George Dufexis? <laughs> um, well, it doesn't really matter because either way, I think Color Questopia comes before all of those, so let's go with Color Questopia. C, O, C, no, C, I, Circulism. <clears throat> Why is that so short? Well, it's not short. These are just long. Color Questopia. Let's go Creative Haven. <clears throat> oh, Belva. Duh. Hello. Belva family. I need to make more labels too. I don't think I have any labels left. Thank you, Danielle. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> forgot the Belva family. Whoopsies. Alright, uh, we're gonna go with Creative Haven. Now they're all willy nilly. Like my color Questopia ones. I'm like, well, do I put those in alphabetical order? But I don't think so. I have the labels for a reason. Um, let me try J, Jade Summer, then Kira Shoshima. Has Jade Summer done more color by number books? I only have the patterns and the mandalas. I'm sure they have by now. All right, Jade Summer, Kira Shoshima. Let's do her color by number first and then I know I have more color by colors, I just don't know where they're at, so I'll have to add them in later, unfortunately. Well, they're probably in this box. I'll have to do these random piles after I get this situated. And then Sachin, Sachdeva. And I'm putting Sachdeva together with Prachi and Sachin, but I think these are all Sachin. I don't know if I have any Prachi's books. I think they have four. Oh, four color by number? Okay. Good to know. Alright. Such and such David color by number. <clears throat> and then... Oh, shit. Oh, shoot. Excuse me. <laughs> Mystery colors. And I also need to leave space for these massive books. Mystery colors. Um, F 
J, K, L, M. Crazy twelve million dollar books. Peppercorns. I have yet to like try these markers or anything, but <laughs> it's just so cute. I think I got this on book outlet. And then into the wild, which I'm again not sure if this is gonna actually fit or not. Slamp it, it goes. It's okay for now. Anyone have any colored by number books? I obviously would recommend. Christy! Hi, Christy! Um, are you a moderator? Did I do that? <laughs> I don't remember. Um, I love the color Questopia, obviously, colored by numbers. Um, Sachin Sacheva is really good. Um, I'm trying to think other ones that I've seen because those are the most that I have and then um, um, uh, what's it called? Sunlight Drawing. Did I say that already? <clears throat> yeah, George Two Fexes is good but they are not easy but they're fun. They are fun. They just take time. What? I'm smurfed, yay. <laughs> You're smurfed? I've never heard that before. That's funny. Hey! Hey, hey, hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Um, I don't, I don't know, but that's cool. You can, if you would like to moderate, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Not that I thought that there's that many people here, but still. Um, okay. Alright, um, yeah, let's tackle this box that I don't know like what's in here because and the shelf like oh, oh my god all of these let me grab the stuff in my shake here yeah so I'm like drawing um are they still making books I know for a while there there was like a hiatus I'm also gonna grab my water because that, that shake is thick with the protein powder. <clears throat> I'm untrapped for now. I'm sure I'll get trapped again. I have no idea what freaking time it is. <clears throat> I'm writing all these down to check out later. Cool. Yeah, so I guess they're not pumping out anything super new if we're all forgetting about them. This is my um, boardwalk cup from when I stayed at the boardwalk for our, Disney gave us like a free night stay last year. My creative coloring, I'm so sorry, but what can I call you? I can call you my creative coloring, but like everybody's names are blurring together in my head. <laughs> Two pattern books, okay. <coughs> I'm not the biggest into the patterns, like the color by numbers is fun, but. Oh, Kim. Hi, Kim. Kim T. Did you change your name? Yeah, I do like the color. Oh, I bit my cheek. <laughs> I do like the color by colors books. <clears throat> All right. So anyway, Prismacolor. My um, friend sent me this for my birthday. Um, it's a whole set. Um, she got it at Target, but it's got a pencil sharpener, um, <laughs> a and I think this is an eraser. It doesn't. It's very hard. But it says rubber on it, so it must be an eraser. Um, a fine liner, a blender, coloring book, a little one. So this 
will have to go in my tiniest pile. <clears throat> I don't know where my tiny one, other one even went. They're here, I put them down there. Um, and then it actually came with pencils too, like just the basic colors. So that's pretty awesome. And I don't remember if it came with anything else. No. Actually, I might just keep all of this together and put it in my desk. I have a whole like cabinet that I'm not even utilizing, so that can definitely go in there. started doing videos yay that's exciting I will have to go follow you after this <laughs> we finally talked you into it Ken yay oh my gosh that's so exciting I'm so excited for you Kim yay I will definitely have to check out your channel oh my gosh I love finding new channels I'm gonna write that down in my new channels section of my planner <clears throat> tell my drawing the last book they brought out was a Flower stencils book on the six. Ooh, that actually sounds pretty though. Enabling me, Quinn. <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of books that bring more in. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, unicorn special. <coughs> Let's make a. This one I do like, um, actually a lot. I don't remember what month this was because it doesn't list that. It just gives you the numbers, unfortunately. But like, there really is. Like these are really different looking unicorns and I like them a lot. Plus I just like unicorns. <laughs> you can have so much fun coloring them. Look at that. Look at their fuzzy little ears. How adorable. And that is Heather R. Hitchman. Hitchman? Yeah. They're so cute. <clears throat> and then of course you can't have a unicorns book without Selena Fennec. Totally going to stalk you. <laughs> <coughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Christy. I finished most of them already. Oh man, I'm really slacking. I'd love to see you over there. Definitely. <laughs> Don't we all like just kind of stalk each other, but it's just accepted? <laughs> Oh, and um, white stags in here. That's fun. Yeah, I really do like this one. The variety in this one is really good. And then they started to kind of decline this summer. Ideas for food. Me too, Tammy. Me too. So I'm like, well, worst comes to worst, I'll just chat my butt off because that's what I do. <clears throat> Obviously this one's staying because it's, um, I almost said Kira. Ooh, the blasphemy. Um, Camellia Anglicoma. And I know, um, I think, no, it's Jungle Miniatures, Nikki and Niagara. I just watched Emma Colors 2020. I just watched her, like, hashtag videos um, for, like, what are they called? Coloring tag for the year and, like, January. And I wrote everything down. <coughs> so if you guys have a question, either ask me or her. Um, I just mooch off of her videos because I, I don't. Working full time, I don't have the time to just like search social media. And I know she works too, but she's more, I guess she's more dedicated than me. But um, I get frustrated by trying to find all the tags because it all just blurs together. Um, anyway, that was like, just went way off, <laughs> off path. Um, but she, uh, Nikki in Niagara is where I was going, is doing a year long color along for 50 jungle minutes. Miniatures, so not this one, but the jungle one. Which do I have that? I guess we'll find out. Um, and like to complete it by the end of the year, so that's tempting. <clears throat> Yay! Yay, community! Love supporting each other. I think that when I get to my shelves, I'm going to be going over my coloring heaven books. Yeah, they're so hit or miss right now. There will be stints where, like, sorry, you're looking at, like, the top of my head. Um, there will be stints where, like, yeah, Jungle Minis, um, they're good, and then they just kind of, like, are hit or miss. <laughs> Only 
do them if you're oh <laughs> Quinn <laughs> that's so like pure of you <laughs> If you guys have it, like, go ahead and link your channels. I don't mind. If you guys have a channel, please do. That's it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Always do the tag if you want to. Um, I think this was another one that came from the Coloring Classics book, Sacred Animals. Coloring Experiences for the Mystical and Magical. It is kind of cool. Ooh, I don't, I might have to hold on to this one. Like, look at that. That's the first page. <clears throat> that one's kind of cool. Yeah, I like this art style a whole lot. So I will probably keep this one. I'm just a baby. A <laughs> little baby goblin. Oh my god, that's so cute! <laughs> um, I don't know if any of you guys watch TikTok, but um, Cedar the Barefoot also refers to themselves as a goblin. So now that's like all like Gerblin, Gerblin Empire. I have that book. You have this one? I really, I like looking at all the images. Look, Danny a turtle. <clears throat> oh no, my computer. Oh. What the hell? Well, <laughs> did it die? Is it unplugged? No? Okay, that's weird. Like, you're not connected to my computer, but I want the chat up. There we go. I guess it just um, went dark on this channel. Yay, turtle. I know, it's so cute. But yeah, I actually really like that. I wasn't so sure. <clears throat> oh, look at that dragon. Now I'm like, <laughs> might have to do a flip of this one. If you guys want to see one. Frogs, the bunny. Yeah, this is neat. Definitely holding on to this one. Illustrations by Lydia Hess. I don't know. Harper Elixir is the publisher. Hmm. All right, well, that'll stay. <clears throat> oh, I'm frozen. Am I still there? I'm frozen on the computer, but it looks like the chat's still going, so that's good. Um. I'm just gonna refresh my page. I will definitely go back and sub to you, Quinn. All of you guys. Okay, there we go. Now I can see again. My computer just decided to fritz out. I think everybody in the world is sub to Danny Buttons. <laughs> okay, so I'm okay. I think it was just um, my like web page froze, so. Oh, I found another Disney book. Oh, I found another Disney book. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Whoops. All right. Anyway, backtracking. Where's Kitty Dot to Dot? This one I might hold on to. I do like the Dot to Dots. They're fun. Even though there's like 600 numbers in this one. Holy crap. What? I was like, that cannot start at one, but it does. Holy shiitake mushroom. But I guess the goal in this one is to like find a cat as you do them, so that's fun. Again, that's another thing that, like, I would probably take on a plane. <clears throat> I, um, my roommate and I are planning a trip to Hawaii in March. Um, that's where she's from. So, um, I've got a pretty good deal going there. <coughs> um, but yeah, so super exciting. Alright, anyway, found more Disney books. Um, this was all stuff I hauled in, like, the summer and then didn't get around to actually posting. Yeah, I've been sub to Christy for a while too. Most of you guys, except Quinn and Ken, because I didn't know Ken had a channel. Amy, do you have a channel? <clears throat> Alright, so I got summertime. Look at Moana, she's so cute. Speaking of Hawaii. Yeah, so it'll be, well, <laughs> it's even more traveling when you figure this in, because um, I know I talked before, like, about being in grad school in the dance company, um, so their anniversary show where they invite alumni back 
is the weekend before we'll go to Hawaii. So chances are I'll travel. I'll be taking like two and a half weeks and traveling home, <clears throat> doing the show, taking a day, meeting Malia somewhere, um, and then going to Hawaii for a week and a half. So it'll be a heck of a lot. So I could take the, <laughs> definitely take the dot to dots with me to sit and do on the plane, because that flight depending on where we fly out of, is five plus hours to Hawaii, so. <coughs> nope, no channel. Well, that's okay. You're not a chicken. It's not for everybody. But if you ever wanted to start, we're all here for you. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I have summertime, which is super fun. Oh, the rest of cats. Um, so yeah, again, if you guys want to see flips, I'm pretty sure Danielle has most of these too, so they're probably on her channel. But it's after I'm... Yeah, I know. Yay! Poo Bear shirt! Oh my gosh, that's exciting. <laughs> yeah, it's it's definitely scary at first, but it's fun. And then I did pick up a Trump Lele, so this can um <clears throat> go in the Colored by Numbers section. So fun. I'm excited to try these. Another goal of mine is to do um, a Disney page a month, at least one Disney page per month. Anything Disney. Hopefully like rotating through my books, but we'll see. <coughs> Girl, if you can paint at all, that's a skill. I'm a mermaid special. I do love this one. Um, I finally finished the picture. I was working on. It came out okay. I don't really like her face, but it came out all right. <laughs> like the way that I colored her face, not the drawing. But it's glary. It's fun. <clears throat> it's called an all over print. So poo all over. <laughs> Sorry, just saying that out loud made me laugh. <clears throat> Got another maze book. This one's fun though, this one I am gonna keep because it's like illustrated mazes, they're like all different. So this I will keep. My sign doodle book. Oh crap. This is a duplicate, so this is going in the giveaway pile. It's my fault, it was on the list and my mom bought it for me for my birthday and then uh, I already had it, so. Nope. <clears throat> Pictures of me and the ex, that's fun. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. That's awesome, Amy. Do you ever post your paintings on Instagram? That's kind of a naive question. I should probably just go look. Yes, please do. That's awesome. <clears throat> All right, Jade Summer. Cute and spooky that I never colored in, which is sad. It's so adorable. I just want Jade Summer pile. Well, well. <laughs> That was a fail. Witchy Vibes, I also have a duplicate of this because I purchased it and then they sent me one. <laughs> so whoopsie, and I don't think I ever got around to reviewing it. I will be surprised if Sally Berry ever sends me anything again, but <clears throat> maybe I can redeem myself. I do feel bad about it. But like the last few months, like since I moved and because this wasn't organized, it was so hard for me to just like get back into things. So. New year, new start. So yeah, this is Sally Berry. Some of those are creepy. Let me make sure I keep the copy they sent me. Wrong one. <laughs> yeah, I can't paint a stick man either. Oh my gosh, yes, I'm so glad that Jade Summer got back on Amazon. Because I ordered the cute Christmas one. Um I think it was cute Christmas and it never like I sent it home because it was supposed to get there while I was there and it never got there so I'm hoping it got there eventually from Lulu and my mom I know has stuff to send me still so <clears throat> hopefully it got there got like piles on piles Tushy up in the air. Ow. <clears throat> A million 
and Sloths and a Million Mermaids by Lou and Mayo. They're so cute. I love all of her books too. They also intimidate me. Anything double-sided does. <laughs> Um, oh my gosh, Tammy, I just commented on your, um, <clears throat> video that I wasn't sure if I had this one or not. I do. Um, Baby Animal Winter Carnival. So stinking cute. I think I saw this originally on John's channel. He used to be the bibliophile color colorist, and now I think he's coloring by Moonlight. I always get him and Megan mixed up. Lavender Doodles. The deer. <laughs> yeah, witchy vibes is fun. Um, part in the colors and here the Jade Summer books. Yeah, the Jade Summer are awesome. Tammy is so sorry. I don't even know that artist. Sorry about the distraction of the posters in the background. They're, I can't get them down. <laughs> They're on the wall. Yeah, it was really weird. Penguins! I know, I love penguins. They're so cute. <clears throat> I hope it's not a terrible distraction. This is not where all the videos will be filmed anyway, but... <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, so cute. I'm tempted to keep this one out too because it's so wintry and like it's freaking hot in Florida right now, but... And there was a winter sports or something hashtag, so I think I'm gonna... Oh, I'm giving too many books out, <laughs> but I am going to anyway. <clears throat> Baby unicorns. I love Jeanette Wommel. He's so, so adorable. Yeah, these and doodle ones are definitely sticking around. Um, outrageous. Oh, they're all warped because they were in this box for so long. Outrageous owls. This one's Dever Muller. And I know birds, but I don't like birds, but I like owls. And they're just way too cute <clears throat> and it's Deborah Muller and then Sleepy Sloths by Deborah Muller yeah the Jade Summer thing was really weird Paganism Paganism oh yeah no it's in a good way oh okay <laughs> <clears throat> and welcome Dab and Do Doodles I love your channel name yeah aren't they pretty um, I think I got them at Ikea <laughs> and they were like super cheap and they came like as a two pack. I think they were like 24 bucks together. <clears throat> Cottage core, goblin core coloring books, so sad. Um, let me pick up the witchy vibes one again. Here we go. Oh shit. Well, I'll pick up this one. Um, but yeah, it's like super gothic. <laughs> Um, like you said, Wiccan, here, just like looking at the pictures on the back. It is cool. <clears throat> Ooh, losing my balance. Um, Where's my Creatures of- oh, it's in the order box, dang it. The, have you seen the Creatures of the Night special, Quinn? Are you talking about Jade Summer, Amy, that an artist didn't go back? <clears throat> um, but yeah, Sleepy Sloss. My Zen Doodle ones. Well, I might have to move them a shelf, so I'm not going to touch that yet. I still didn't put this up there. <laughs> Alright, um, this can go there. All these are fall, watch. Well, for now. Alright, 50 jungle miniatures we were chatting about earlier. <clears throat> oh my goodness, so cute. I don't even know if I fully flipped through, but look at those bloomers. They're just adorable. Coloring Heaven, yeah, yeah. That, I love that book. Yeah, me too. Well, obviously, we were talking about that. <laughs> Cute 
dinosaurs. This one's such and such, Deza. I had to pick it up. I just, <laughs> it was too cute. So, and I like the simplicity of these just when I want to put color on paper. They're just adorable. I know they're like gain, or geared more towards kids, but they're cute. <clears throat> this one, this one doesn't have a title, so we're not going to label this too. It's weird how some of them do have the titles on the spine and some don't. And then color by not or color by colors again. By Kira Shirshneva. This one's the country life. Cute. Um, there they are. I was like, I know they're blank spines. <clears throat> and I know I have four of them. I just don't know where they're at. I have like summer or spring. I don't know. <clears throat> Fantasy figure special. This one I remember liking a lot. They're like really pretty people. So I'll definitely hold on to this one. Wow, look at that. Um, it sounded like they just fired her. Oh, geez. Yeah, it's weird. Didn't they say it was something to do with one book in their collection? Oh, maybe. <laughs> right? Kids get all the fun, don't get all the fun stuff. We're allowed to have fun stuff. And then I did pick up this one at Walmart, um, Unicorn Wonders by Marjorie Sarnet. I love her stuff. And again, it's unicorns and they're just so fun to color because you can do whatever the heck you want with the colors. <clears throat> Which you can with anything, but sometimes I get stuck. So this is creative right there. I am not putting those <clears throat> by artists. The creative haven will just go all together. And then another dot to dot my grandma sent me. And then a book. <laughs> it doesn't belong here. And a box. Which I might need to put more giveaway books in. <clears throat> message me. I'll message him later. Yeah, there were a couple called Cute Christmas or like Christmas something. And then they started bundling everything. And that was a weird time. <clears throat> but I guess they still have because like, I think all the chibi ones are still bundled and stuff. Alright, um, let's check out this pile. I keep, I'm keeping this because, isn't that cool? One of the Disney books came in that. It's like, <clears throat> all the stamps. It's really neat. So I'll probably just cut the front part off, but I'm still gonna keep it. It's cool. Oh, well, I meant to like fly that over there and it just kind of fell. Okie dokie. Publishers need to get more creative with the naming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Because a lot do have the same titles. Alright, um, Ink House Special by Coloring Heaven. Yeah, isn't that cool? So I'm super excited to have those because now I don't have to like pay for the Ink House if I don't like coloring this. So, but I do love the pictures. So this one I was really excited about. Here's Yuki Kawaii 2. Still in the flipping plastic. <laughs> and the button too. Oh my god. Because I think I pre-ordered that and I never got around to it. Oh my gosh. See, more Disney books. I knew, I knew I'd be uncovering stuff. This one's the um, <clears throat> Love Stories one. The end. Teeny tiny little guy. So cute little wallpapery but still more like like you could just ignore all that and just color the characters or whatever you want to do <clears throat> everything's gonna fall yeah 
Uh, my goal this year is to not buy as much and to color more. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> it's very early in the year. I'm gonna get the ink house book and I will find how to more of the color. Assured me that I wanted the yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's probably gonna is what's gonna happen. <clears throat> portraits. Disney portraits. Love this one. Because they're like super huge images of the characters. So that's a lot of fun. Oliver, so cute. Alright, um. Ah, I knew that was gonna happen here soon. <clears throat> I don't know how I'm gonna like label these to know which one's which. I'm just gonna have to see, I guess. Because I don't want to put anything like on the page, the side of the pages. Hey Dawn, welcome! If I haven't said welcome to you, I'm sorry. I'm trying. <clears throat> 50 Ocean Miniatures. Danielle, I think this one you said is your favorite. I have way too many books. <laughs> way too many. That's why I'm purging as we go. Just doesn't look like I purge that much. But we haven't gotten to like this section yet. Where all the random stuff is. <clears throat> Camellia. This is a Camellia. I was like, oh, maybe I'll get rid of this mandala book, but it's a Camellia book, so I can't get rid of it. Plus, I think this was gifted to me. Danielle, did you send me this? <clears throat> I think. Or, no, I bought it. I bought it. A lot of people put their top flip Disney books on their side. I know, but then they'll stick really far out and that'll bother me. Oh well. I'll figure it out. Yeah. Wait. Did you give me this? No. The favorite. Never mind. <laughs> I know I bought this because I was like, I might regret this, but. Because <clears throat> these are extra detailed. They're like teeny tiny. Fine liners for sure. But I'm determined to have all of Camellia's because I love her art. Got all my canvas bags for my overseas books. Color Quest, which I still haven't colored in, so I should make this a goal to color at least one picture in here this year. They're just so freaking huge. I know, I think Danielle, you finished it last year, huh? That can go up with the tro because that literally will not fit anywhere else. <clears throat> Here's all my other Color by Colors books, Tetris, Mandalas, Spring, Puzzle Animals, Paper in there, and the tab. Because um, I tried to do a video where I did like all a page in all of them and then did like a combined, not speed color, but um, like review kind of thing and then I just decided to lose all my footage so that didn't happen <laughs> but yeah I have a lot of the color by colors but I know she's come out with a ton more I feel like I need tabs to like stick here that stick out that say like characters name uh, like color by colors and then you know what I mean? So I don't have to rely on these labels, especially on these thin, thin books. <clears throat> you can't really read them anyway. Alright. Cool. We're getting there, y'all. It's taking forever, but we're getting there. Yeah, keep waiting for Color Quest to pop back up on Book Outlet for a second copy. <laughs> Going to attempt to purge. Oh, oh man, I'm losing. I'm losing it. Hey, Tracy. Uh, coloring happens when I can get to my shelf. Cool. Yeah, I think I got mine on book outlet too. Yes, you can do it, Quinn. Some of the color by color books. They're fun. It is hard to let things go. She has free ones on her site. Oh, that's cool. 
<clears throat> That's cool. All right, um, I believe this is a stack of books that Lisa sent me. Um, maybe not all of them, but definitely some. Or I think this was stuff that was sent to me for my birthday, actually. Um, so yeah. Uh, drinking animals. Let's see. I should have. I mean, I didn't. Or no, I did. I wrote in it from Lisa. The drinking animals book. It's got like <clears throat> drink um, <laughs> recipes, which is fun. And then the little animals. So yeah, that's cool. Some are alcoholic, some aren't. Like there's an Americano in there. I think most of them are alcoholic, but that's fun. And then I got this one on my list forever, so I'm super excited to have that. This is Deanna Stone. Um, this is Draw Tinsel. Um, <clears throat> and it's like stained glass pictures. They're so cute. And like, just different. This one's been on my wish list forever. So I'm excited for that. And then 100 Best Coloring Pages from Such and Such Deva. Super duper excited. For this, this I'm gonna put with the other Sash Deva books because it just makes more sense than <laughs> to have a separate pile. Which do I have? Ooh, now I'm not sure. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and put it with his color by number books for now. See, this is the problem because things could change later the more I dive into these books. <laughs> tiger on the front. Yeah, that's the one that I have. Why? What, da what Dawn? Sorry, I'm not understanding. Why don't I use the books? Or... There's just some I'm not, like, super interested in. And I do use them. I just haven't in a while. Because um, I don't have the time <laughs> and it's been such a mess I haven't known where anything is so that's why I'm doing this so that I can get back to back to coloring um, Lisa also sent me the color Questopia highlight reel and they're all black background so now I don't feel so bad for getting rid of that for like giving away the other ones because I have these to try out so really excited about that Thank you, Lisa, even though I know you're not here right now. Questopia. Uh, okay. Um, I believe Danielle, or was this? Oh, this was from Lauren. Hot Tropics by Carla Magana. Magana. Um, I love her books. This one's so fun. Ooh, so cute. Now I'm like, where's my bats book that you sent me, Danielle? Hmm. Is it down here? Is it small? Okay. It's gotta be here somewhere. Maybe it's stuck in this pile. But yeah, Hot Tropics from Lauren. Carly Magana. Then, <clears throat> Pastel Goth, is this kid the lion? This is also from Lauren. Is it, or does it not have a publisher? It says Pastel Goth, cute and creepy. See, this is why I'm like, maybe I should <laughs> organize them by like, Halloween, Christmas. Because this one doesn't have an artist, do you guys know? I know it was pretty popular around Halloween time. I just, I can't seem to find, is it in the back? There's a ton of extra pages back here, what the heck? Yeah, there's nothing in the back or the front, but there's like 10 sheets of blank paper. Yeah, you said the bat one. Sounds good, Kim. Arisa May. 
of pasto goth. Okay. Mm, I don't have a pen on hand. There's one over there. Let's see if I can get to it. Ugh. Crank up. Put crank up. Um. You said Larisa May. handwriting ever. Nice. I need to eat dinner. I'm hungry. <laughs> um, chubby animals. Chubbies. <laughs> so cute. This is Color Kick. It's an adult coloring book. <laughs> They're so freaking funny. <laughs> I love it. Love it so much. Hedgehog. Oh my god. Fat animals. Chubby animals. Look at the platypus. Love it. <clears throat> but there it is. Yay! I was getting nervous. I was like, oh no, what I do with those books? Carla's books are so tiny. But yeah, this one. Bats. It's freaking bats. <clears throat> Love it. And then Danielle, you also sent me this one. Pretty sure. Yeah. Fifty Ottoman dollars. <clears throat> the Cafe Kawaii. Um, what is this? This one was from Emily. Is this the same person as Pasta Goth? Do you guys know? Hey, Mandy, welcome back. Or just hello again. <laughs> um. Yeah, I just don't know. I'm gonna put them together because they look very similar. And then Demita Victoria's Whimsical Dreams is also from Emily. You guys seriously spoil me. These girls are kind of funny, but they're fun. They're pretty images. That looks like a colored caramel. What? Col oh, is that... <laughs> I was like, what? Caramel? Um, is that the company, you think? I might just put them together. And like, these ones that I don't really know. They can go at the end. <clears throat> Alright. Now I think I can finally get to the rest of the shelves. Oh no, I found another Dot Signs and Spirals book. Ah, my computer. It did it again. Just like woke it up. Is it overheating? Maybe it's overheating. It's... No, because it's not dead. I don't get it. <clears throat> Alright, well. Stay going that time. That's weird. It's very strange. But yeah, I found a dot sign in Spirals book. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be looking on this side. All right, let's see. That's already organized. All right. Oh. <laughs> um, I guess we go alphabetical order by for now. Then. Um, so I really don't know how else to organize it. So Camellia will be at least in the beginning, A. Let's see. Alright, let me pull out all the coloring heavens. <clears throat> and then I can show them to you guys as we put them back on the shelves. Ooh, heck. Alright, holy coloring heaven. Ouch. So why is Sally Berry before Camellia and Clipa? Probably because they just got shoved there. Sally Berry. <clears throat> I have random piles everywhere now. Um, Rose Windows is Creative Haven. This is Coloring Heaven. Creative Haven. Who's Axolotl? Oh, Pellard Caramel. 
You were just saying that. This axolotl book is colored caramel. I put it with those. <clears throat> um, Dover is also going to go with Creative Haven. Stone. Alright. <laughs> Ancient Aliens coloring book. I remember liking this when I first got it because it was different, but I, if I had to choose between this and the Spirited Animals book, I would definitely get rid of this one. Oh, you're fine, Christy. No worries, guys. I don't expect you to be, like, laser focused <laughs> on my live. My exotic alphabet book. Um, these are all Canary Angle Cobra. Let's do let's organize mandala books. Mandalas. And then we'll put the miniatures together. That one first. I have a small mandala book down here. Christmas mandalas. Gnomes, unicorns, uh, dream catchers. Miniatures, <clears throat> mandalas, mandalas. Dream catchers with mandalas, it makes sense. Alright, oh. right, so I said I was going to show these all to you guys so you know what's in my collection. That's kind of part of this video. So, Christmas mandalas, these are all Familia Anglicova. 50 dream catchers to color. Fifty Halloween mandalas, fifty autumn mandalas, mandala coloring book, fifty-four unique and highly detailed mandalas for adult relaxation, stress management, concentration, and mandala meditation. That was a long title. <clears throat> fifty nighttime mandalas, and then mandalas for relaxation and meditation. So that's the mandala ones. <clears throat> Thing. <laughs> and then non miniatures but still camellia books 50 graceful unicorns 50 lovely gnomes and 50 christmas elves oh shoot or no a and a I have an Atanasio book up here, and I'm like, oh, crap. Um, I put them in the wrong order. All right, there we go. And then for the miniatures, I have 50 summer miniatures, 50 winter miniatures, 50 autumn miniatures, <clears throat> Fifty spring miniatures, fifty ocean miniatures, miniatures is like a long word, fifty jungle miniatures, safari miniatures, and romantic miniatures. So they can all go on the shelf. Should I organize them? Maybe. What do I start with? Summer or winter? <clears throat> Let's go summer. Fall, romance, no, winter, romantic, because that's kind of in between. Spring, and then the rest of these. And then Christmas will go in there somewhere.
books are heavy, y'all. <laughs> all right, I think that's all Camellia for now, unless I stumble upon something. Do you guys remember that website, Stumble Upon? I only get our miniatures and I just need the winter. Oh man, I can't find it on UK, that's weird. Romantic and Halloween. Yeah, they're fun, I love those. All right, I have a Hamilton coloring book, which again, I just don't think I'm going to color. So it is going to leave my stash. I'd rather watch the musical than color Hamilton. <laughs> <clears throat> and we have Fabiana Atanasio. Um, and I guess this is the only one I have is Snow White. I'm trying to think. Maybe. Maybe. This next one is. Amazing Squirrels by Elena Bogdanovich. Um, and then Salisbury. So let's see, what am I missing? <clears throat> Salisbury, no. Mm -mm. Yeah, well Salisbury would go first, I don't know why that's in the front. Well, Sherry Baldy, Tabitha Barnett. Let's look at this one. I don't know if this is one I'm gonna keep. Amazing swirls. That is cute. Am I ever gonna color it though? Hmm. Cause I have the Jade Summer Swirls book, and I like this one better. So yeah, I'll probably get rid of this one. Bassford. Bassford. Thank you. I had them on the lower shelf because on my other shelf they didn't fit. <clears throat> um, B A L Baldy still comes before Bassford. B R S. Yeah. What's this one? The Lamb. Oh. Flower Girls. Ina Bellano. B E. Okay, I think they're all right. So Bassford goes up next. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I have another Swirls book by Coloring Book Cafe. So yeah, that other one can go. Um, yeah, so for Bassford, I have Magical Jungle. I have a lot of hers. Lost Ocean. Christmas. I should take the tabs out of these as I go, because I know they're ones I haven't... Oh, that one's done. Wow. Shocker. I don't think I did anything in that book. <laughs> Christmas and then Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. <clears throat> but Baldy still goes before Bassard. Whoops. For Sherry Baldy, I have um, coffee bean besties. Aren't they so cute? I need to color in this. They're just all either holding coffee or in coffee. And they're like these giant big eyed girls. They're so cute. So B-A, no, this is still B-A, B-A-L though. And then B-A-R, B-A-S. And then Tabitha L. Barnett. I guess the only one I have of hers is um, the circles. Or, uh, Broken circles, is that what it's? No, it's just called It's Fall, y'all. So, which is fun. They have the black backgrounds too. <clears throat> I hope I'm not boring you guys to death, but I figured it'd be more fun to do it with somebody than just by myself. Password. Right. I'm glad Danielle knows the alphabet, because I sure don't. B E L V E R. Um, I'm trying to think if I have anything else. Let's see. S. Banani. Danny Banani or Funny Usual Suspects? Let's 
go with Danny the Manny and put them <clears throat> on the shelf. One, two. Sorry, y'all, my freaking pants keep going on my butt. <laughs> so it's that much heavier to push it back. Uh, then I have Bloom, which somebody just posted a flip through of this. I don't remember who it was. I think it might have been the color in Diva. Or no. T? Maybe T. Somebody sent me this one, I think. <clears throat> I think it was, was it you, Jamie? Yep, Jamie. <laughs> this one's really pretty. These are anime girls that I would color. So, but the Nico ones, that's just too niche. These are all different, so this one's fun. So yeah, Delano, VE, L, stands for V-E-R. <laughs> then we have all the Sally Berry. So I have Christmas, my Sally Berry. My other advent calendar is already um, done. I have Happy Winter, my Sally Berry. Should just show you the pictures on the back, I guess. And again, if you guys want to see flip throughs, please let me know. Otherwise, I will not. <laughs> um, and then precious animals. Which I love this one. I like this one because it gives you like a small color palette on the other side, which I think is really neat. I kind of wish they'd done it for all of them. Sally Berry books. Alright. So, a lot of these I think were actually sent to me, which is wild. Positive Vibes, I think I might have bought this one. Um, another quote book, so we'll put those together. And then Feeling Good Today, I'm pretty positive they sent me. Merry Christmas, they sent to me. <clears throat> and then Witchy Vibes. And my lovely garden I picked up on my own. Um, and then, yeah. Let's see. I wonder if I can get these guys up. I gotta shove all of this all over to the other side because it's so <laughs> crowded. Puffin and puffin. Sally Berry. Whoa. I guess I can move some up there then, but. I just want to kind of get this done. <laughs> Are y'all hanging in there? I feel bad. I'm just kind of like talking to myself at this point. Because I don't know like what else to do. <laughs> All right. yeah. So, and then Big Easy. Oh, I'm puffing and puffing. Danny, I think I have a book before you message me. So I think what I'm gonna do is take my like fancier coloring books and put them up top too. Um, like my Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Um, I think I'm gonna put her up here. And um, my Hannah Carlson's and like my hardback books, basically. which I don't have a lot of. I think I have that one, which isn't necessarily hardback. A Hannah, solo Hannah Carl's on, and a solo um, Markova, Claire Markova. But Whimsical Wonders is also kind of hard. Where is that book? By Julia Spear? I saw it earlier. Oh. <clears throat> I know I saw it earlier. There it is. It's hiding in the corner. This one can also go up there. I'm just, I'm just gonna stick them up there for now. I can organize it then. Alright, cool. 
alphabet. Amanda! Hello, hello! Still here. <laughs> Thank you. Still here thinking about the rest of the alphabet. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Danielle. I know somebody is doing, uh, Kits and Caboodles, Michelle, she's doing, um, what's it called? A alphabet coloring tag this year? I haven't watched her video to understand, like, what it is, but that's kind of cool. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Amy. Glad to know you guys are still hanging in there. I know this can be kind of boring, but I'm kind of having fun, actually. <laughs> the Markova books are so hard to find in the UK. Really? I would have thought they'd be easier. I have no idea how people get them. I am feeling better. I never really felt bad. That's the problem. Well, not problem, but like weird thing. Because the only reason I went and even got tested was that I knew it was going around. <clears throat> I think I got mine off of her Etsy. Oh, there's the other Hannah Carl's on. I knew there was another one. This bookshelf falls on me. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, I know I ordered the Markova ones off of the um her Etsy. Pretty positive at least. Alright, so um V E B L Black River Art. This color some cuties. I think Jamie sent me this one too if you're still here. Um, I didn't save the thing but I'm pretty sure or at least you turned me on to it because they're grayscale um, <clears throat> but it's like super light grayscale so I kind of want to try pencils in this book. Yeah this one's staying with me. I've got a bunch of Chibi Animals books. Chibi Animals by Alice Brockmeyer. This one is also freaking adorable, and I can't remember whose channel I saw it on. They used to be on Amazon. They were on Amazon. I don't know if they are anymore. Yeah, like you said, they're not anymore. Oh, this is from Sam, Samantha Oswald. Aw. But yeah, they're, look at their little hats. They're so cute. Did the bunny. <laughs> For Easter last year, I think. Look at the penguin! Oh man, they're just so cute. Yeah, this one's definitely staying. <clears throat> and then another Chibi Animals by Ava Brown. And then a cute Ava Animals by Ava Brown. Is Ava Brown still making books? Yeah, I just, they're so cute. Like, I, these are the ones that I struggle to part with. Except that picture is really creepy. Penguins! <laughs> See, now I'm like, do I have too many cute animals books? Because if one had to go, it would be this one. Because this one also has duplicate images, but look at that. <laughs> That's okay. I'm hoping that this will post as a replay. Um, so then if you want to go back and just like skip through. Okay, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can part with that one. Let's see their cute animals one. Oh, this is cuter though. No, I don't like the art style as much in this one. Hmm. These are tough, but somebody gave this to me. T gifted this to me. Did she give me this one too, or did I buy this one? Oh no. Oh, this one was gifted too. Okay, never mind. That answers that question. But you know, nobody would be offended, but still, look at the koalas. They're cute. <clears throat> Let's I think it would be too drastic for me to say that like if I don't color in something this year then I get rid of it next year but that's like too much pressure <laughs> that tall not okay yeah <laughs> that was really weird <clears throat> so yeah I'll hold on to these they are cute I do like the chibi animals actually a little bit more than the and the cute animals. But, oh, but then there's pictures like that. So yeah, I gotta hold on to them. I've got the upper brown though. I really need to secure <laughs> my little notes in here a little better. Oh, I missed a Disney book. I'm dumb. And I've been staring at it this whole time. This is 
Um, Christopher Robin, I got this one off of Amazon UK. Um, and again, I don't know that I will actually ever color this, but it's just beautiful and I like to flip through it. I do flip through this one every once in a while. Because there's a lot of like wallpaper pages, but it's so pretty. And there's some good pictures, like these are pretty nice. <clears throat> it's really nice paper. But yeah, they're gorgeous. Christopher Robin coloring book. <clears throat> Um, I think you have to order the Marktober books. Oh, wait, I read that already. Um, how am I arranging my books? Um, so, yeah, <laughs> up top are Disney, color by number, and then, like, my hardbacks and ones that will only fit on the top shelf. Um, and then down here I'm just going alphabetically, because if I do anything else I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> spell the name of it. Oh, the giraffe. <laughs> I have you got, oh my gosh. Oh God. You can probably see like all my pores and nose hairs and stuff. <laughs> you know what I meant. Yeah, I know what you meant. Love Winnie the Pooh. He's my favorite. Yes, I will definitely give him some honey for you. I haven't seen Pooh in a while though, but I haven't been to any of the parks because we haven't been able to get in, so it's been tough. But yeah, this one can go up top. Like short but long. There we go. Where do I message you? I think you'd have to message her. I don't think you can on YouTube. I think you have to message her on Instagram or Facebook or something like some other platform because I don't think YouTube has messaging messaging anymore. It did way back in the day. <coughs> This is Coffee Animals Coloring Book. Have I covered in this? Not yet. Somebody also gave me this one. I think Elizabeth gave me this one. But it's so cute. Don't be depresso, have an espresso. This one also has recipes. You are a donut to my coffee. So yeah, this one I gotta hold on to. Um, I'm gonna put it with these ones that I don't know who their publishers and stuff are though. <clears throat> Coco Wild books I have. Do I only have these two? I must. Um, I have Time to Travel Baby Sloth and Why Animals, which are both absolutely cute. And did we just, uh, not distinguish, but did we establish, that's the word, that, because there's a bunch of these, there's a cat and there's something else. Do we establish that they're all traveling to different places or that are they all the same places? Just, whew, the animal is different. Sorry, <laughs> I'm like talking too much. That I want to know because I would collect them all, but if they're all the same background, I don't want to color the same background over and over again. And then kawaii animals, look at the freaking Shiba Inu. They're so cute! Can't handle it. Alright. <laughs> Alrighty. We have. Whoa. Oh, this goes with Creative Haven. That's a Dover book. Um, Fabulous Florals by Timeless Creations. Yeah, I think. I don't think I'm gonna hold on to this one. There's just. I just like the Zen Doodle books way better. So why hold on to something like this when I have all of those to color? I think they're different, but that's what I thought. <laughs> I like looked down and somebody had typed YouTube and for some reason I thought it said Baltimore. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what my brain is like on the fritz, I guess. No, it does not. And I don't remember if I friended Kim on Facebook. I'm a terrible friend, <laughs> lol. It's so hard to keep track. <laughs> And especially like when you know each other by your YouTube names and then you're like, well, is it this Tammy or is it that Tammy? Is it this Kim or is it this that Kim? Luckily, like Shayna isn't 
the most common name in the world, so. Don't apologize, Joel. You're totally fine. Ugh. I can feel the protein powder like sinking to the bottom. It's gross. Now I think we're into the creative haven, so I guess I didn't need to move that one. Did that go in my number? No. Demeter Victoria. Who's the other Demeter Victoria? What the heck? It's gotta be mixed up somewhere. I can't find my princesses, Demeter Victoria, that's so sad. Oh no, when there's more such and such daisy books. Well shit. <laughs> well crap. Alright, um, checklist a book at a time. Where did that Demeter Victoria be? I'm hoping I come across it. That makes me sad because I like that book. It was the Disney Princesses by New Fashion Princesses. <clears throat> Wait, what? I think they're different places. What? I'm confused. I have a cousin, Shayna. Oh, you have a cousin named Shayna. That's cool. Coloring Book Cafe first. Coloring Book Cafe, you're correct. One of those books. <clears throat> I think, I don't know if I have Coloring Book Cafe books, actually. I think it might just be that Mandala one. That's Coloria, never mind. Do I have Coloring? I don't know that I have any Coloring Book Cafe. That's almost, like, irreverent. <laughs> I don't think I do, unless they're down here. Which I'm not even looking at these, oh my god. Oh wait, there's one. Coloring Book Cafe. One. <laughs> Solo, which I'm not even sure I'm gonna keep. Yeah, I don't even think I'm gonna hold on to this one. I'm just not feeling like the swirly stuff. Not crap, it's not crap, it's good, but... No, you're, you're right, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Oh, the mispronunciation. Eh, yeah. I don't usually, like, mess up people. I mean, once somebody tells me how their name's pronounced, I'm usually able to get it. And I do do pretty good with names, but not all the time. I'm much better with faces. <coughs> Alright, Coloring Book Cafe. Creative Haven Coloring... Coloring Heaven would be before Creative Haven. My computer did it again. I don't understand because I am touching the screen, so I don't know why it keeps going dark. Probably just because I've been on here forever. <laughs> Alright, yeah, Coloring Heaven is first. So now I get to look at all the issue numbers. Let's see, I'm gonna pop a squat. Oh. Alright, let's see. 21. Oh, well, there's a 56, which is Alice, but I bought this one Not for a particular reason, like I wanted the Alice book. Um, 36 is the Hannah Lynn fairy tale special. This is the first one I ever got. So 36, 56. And then I think the subscription starts in here somewhere. 60s. Oh wait, Frightlings doesn't have a number. <clears throat> but Frightlings Halloween. I need to color in this this Halloween. Because I like kind of stalked this book <laughs> to make sure I could get it. So that'll go first because that's not an issue number. That's a special. And then 
Sixty-four. Oh, this one I might get rid of. I don't think I'm ever going to color it. <clears throat> Look at that, y'all. April Amber. I don't think I have any April Amber books. I do. That's good. Total, right? bears that's cool yeah it does look stressful and I don't think it's something I know um pebbles did one as like a color along and like she just broke it down but I'm just I'm really not interested <clears throat> yeah no mm -mm. no thanks pass that along to somebody who would like it 60 then I think oh there's another, oh no, that's Ink House, that does have a number, okay. So then 65, <clears throat> that's Mermaids, 71, Christmas is 81, okay. So I have the specials, 36.56, then I have <clears throat> 69, did I never get 70, oh, I'm missing something, Halloween. That's 80, though. I wonder if I gave one away already. I don't know where 70 is, but that's okay. So we have... <clears throat> then 65 is Fantasy Cats, which I actually really do like this. Um, it's just like... It's one artist, um, Jeff Haney. But like all of it's it's really cool. <clears throat> um, 66 is, um, I think this is 2020's Halloween special. I don't know, but I do like the images in this one. 67 is Zodiac. Oh, I'm on the fence with this one too, but there's some art artists I really like. The Kelly O'Gorman I really like in here. Like, is it worth it to keep it for a couple of images that I could probably get off of Etsy? But look at those, they're so cute. They're like the sprites. <coughs> I don't know. I might get rid of this one. That's tough. I am going to set that one, like, way to the side. Um, Kitty Christmas. I don't know what year this one was, but I love the Mariella boot deck in here. And, of course, it's Christmas, so, like, I keep all of those. <clears throat> Christmas. That was 68. Yes, ma'am. Yay. I wanted Fretlings so bad. And I thought, say it right? <laughs> Maybe we'll, once I get the that one buddy colored, we'll buddy color out of that one. I look at that one and know I will never color it, so I haven't bought it. When it goes out of stock, I will be annoyed I didn't get it. Which one, Toll? Fretlings? Um, 69 is burlesque. Which I do like these a lot. Um, but I mostly like them because some of the drag queens are featured, and I think that's really fun. So, at the very least, yeah, I'm definitely going to hold on to that one because that one's different and fun. And that was 69. I don't know where 70 is. I don't know what issue 70 was. <clears throat> 71 is Mermaids, which we've already established I like because I've colored out of it. And I really do like a ton of these. Seventy two is Nova Fairies. Oh, this one I'm also not sure of. I don't think I'm gonna color this. I think I might get rid of that one. Yeah, I don't really care for that one. <coughs> Whoops, that goes in the other pile. <laughs> Go 
do a mystery coloring box again. How, what did you, how did you do that? Yeah, Freightling, okay. How did you do that, Amanda? Like, just send, were you sending them to people? Um, I don't remember what number I was on. 71, 72 I tossed. 73 fairy tale stories. This is Fabiana, so this I'm definitely keeping. I love her, her artwork. Plus, then I get a little taste and don't have to like buy all of her books. <laughs> Good lord, I can't keep track of numbers. 73. 74 is Steampunk. Did love this one, actually. <clears throat> yeah, this one I'll be holding on to. These are super intimidating. But they are really cool. And then fairies in nature. Oh, I'm also not. I don't. This line work is so thin. I think I'm gonna pass this one along too. Yeah. <clears throat> Someone more skilled than I <laughs> can do, do that. Seventy-six. Where's seventy-six? Mm -hmm. How am I missing issues? I feel like they've got to be stashed somewhere. Hmm. I'm trying to think where else I would put stuff. But I can't. Because, like, my newfound print, new fashion princesses book. I'm hoping it's just stuck in the wrong hole and it'll, like, show up. Alright, anyway. Cross that bridge when I get to it, I guess. We have 77, it's the Christmas one, there's one, <clears throat> is uh, Fantasy Figures, I think I did go over this one, I really love this, yeah, it's so cool, the variety is really cool. <clears throat> 78 is Unicorns, I did talk about that one, yeah, coloring books and supplies wasn't easy, gotcha, practically. Oh, practically. <laughs> Not prayers. But pray you don't buy much stuff this year. Right? Exactly. Uh, same here, Amanda. I'm trying to keep it minimal, too. And then 79. <clears throat> 80. It's a Halloween special. And 81 is the Christmas special. So, now I get to shove all these on the shelf. Um, Book of Lyle, Exploring Heaven, I'm gonna have to take some on this end off, I think. Oh, there it is, it's in the wrong spot, yay. I was so stressed, I found it. <laughs> I'm gonna take these off real quick. Most of those are probably gonna go. <clears throat> What I need to do this year is just like um, stay away from book outlets so I don't buy a bunch of stuff that's like, oh, that's cheap, let me buy it. Oh, that's cheap, let me buy it. hoping I don't make the news that like youtuber bookshelf falls on <laughs> youtuber and crushes them <laughs> come on oh. pull more off mostly jade summer on this end anyway I know where they'll go. Ugh. Couple more. Yeah, I have too many. <laughs> um, keep missing chat. Mostly no buy except I know I won't get. Yeah, and you can get any books for sure. <clears throat> Dude, that's why I'm not counting them. I'm just trying to stick them on my shelves. Okay. 
need to replenish markers. Yeah, that happens. I'm afraid that, like, because I haven't used, well, and I've used most of them again, but, like, my Cali Guards, I'm afraid some of them are probably dying. <clears throat> okay. Well, in heaven. <laughs> Creative Haven. So I have playful puppies. And I know I have more of these at my parents actually. Playful puppies. Because I have an ama amazing owl, I think. The Marjorie Sarnet. Um, Tropical Christmas. This one's so fun. I don't think I colored anything in here, but that tab is like ripped to shreds. See, now I'm like, do I have enough Christmas books to like put all the Christmas books together? But I want to keep like my miniatures together and stuff. And like, do win do I put winter and Christmas together? What do I do, you guys? <clears throat> I feel like having marker addiction, like, they don't add up as much. Well, I guess they do, depending on which markers you like. A thousand coloring books. This may be That's amazing, Tall. I don't have the space for that. <laughs> I mean, I could technically like expand upstairs, <clears throat> but for me it's like out of sight, out of mind. So if I did that, I'd just have to move everything upstairs. Because we have that whole loft. Wow. That's cool. All right. Creative Haven, Artful Quotes. This one that I want to keep. Don't think so. I don't know where this one came from. I don't know. I can go on the unhaul pile. <clears throat> I'm actually pretty proud of myself with the way this unhaul pile looks. But then I've got all these books still on my, on my bed and on the shelf. But this shelf isn't full. This shelf is full. Alright, let's see. Let's put the Dover ones first. I have the famous fairy tales and Little Mermaids and Friends. I think somebody gifted me this one. Maybe not. Yeah, these are cute. I ca I'm tempted to color in these with um, crayons. <clears throat> Puppies, Art Nouveau, Keep Calm, Unicorn Wonders. This one's newer. And then Rose Windows. I have way less Creative Haven books than I thought. But again, some of them are still at my mom's, I think. <laughs> so this one was gifted to me by a dear friend who knew I had a channel and knows I love RuPaul's Drag Race, so this has a special place in my heart. This is the Drag Queen Coloring, Adult Coloring Therapy by Crypt Keeper. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it's all the, all the drag queens from RuPaul's and like, they're super abstract, but it's so fun. <laughs> so I don't know that I'll color it, but it's going to stay with me for sure. <clears throat> and then we have the Demita Victoria, so I can throw up my new fashion princesses. Thank goodness that I found. Oops, I missed Tropical Christmas. At least Creative Haven has the names on the spines. So my new fashion princesses. And the new one, what is it called? Dreams. Fantastic Beasts I'm going to put up here, actually. So 
the two Fantastic Beasts coloring books. I know I got them off of Book Outlet, but they're like kind of nicer. So I think I'm going to put them up top. My Niffler. I still love this page. I'm very proud of this page. Because <clears throat> it's all watercolor and not gelatos. Um, oil pastels are the background, I think. So yeah, I'm proud of that one. I don't think I did one in the other book. And who knows, I may unhaul these eventually too. But maybe this one. Because I do like this one better. This is the creatures. With only a few of the people. So yeah, there's really no need for me to keep this. I'll probably just keep this one and get rid of this one. If I'm honest. <clears throat> It'd be so easy for me to get addicted to markers. Yeah. <laughs> the loft is, is awesome. You don't use it enough. <laughs> Wait, which one did you send, Amanda? Did you send the Creative Haven one? I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh-oh. Don't want to offend anybody. I just don't know that I'll color it. I can send it to you. Is it the Artful Quotes one? I just don't know that I'll color it. I can send it to you though. If you think you will. I do like the quotes. I'm just trying to extremely purge. <laughs> Well, I guess not extremely, but. <clears throat> Fantastic Beasts, I'm gonna put in front of the Disney books because it's still like niche. There we go. Oh, Dover Mermaid, okay. Yes, okay, that makes sense. I do like the Dover Mermaid one. That one's pretty awesome. Um. Demona Victoria. This is now, oh, oh, how did we jump from, how did we jump to there? <laughs> um, but we have Draw Tencel, maybe after Demona Victoria. Oh, I missed the colored caramel one. H I. A, B, C, D, E. I don't think I have any E. These are Zen Doodle. Colored caramel. These I'm putting all together though, because I don't, other than colored caramel, I don't exactly know where they belong. H. A, B, C, D, E. Airy. Thank you. Because the Airy books are down here. I haven't even looked at these guys. <laughs> oh no. Um, because this is Joseph Cadambang. A, B, C, A. Let me just pull, let me just pull all of the Jade Summer off. And a lot of these on the end here are ones I'm going to go through. So. <clears throat> Molly Harris, I will keep heroin, of course. The snowflakes one can probably go. Yeah. Shibaka Harath stays. <clears throat> this high coloring book can go. I haven't heard from them. I don't know. I just don't know. <clears throat> yeah, it's a good thing you know the alphabet because I sure don't. And also I'm just not looking at like these books. <laughs> so. Oh, 
How long, how long do I save a book? Um, I mean, I've had a lot of these for a long time. <laughs> but just knowing that I haven't colored in them is why I'm getting rid of them. And they're just ones that I don't think I like would color in. Heidi Hornsby, that one stays. Majestic Owls. I'm pretty sure somebody. Did I pick this up or did somebody send this to me? Oh no, this is adorable. This one has to stay. It's just printed on the wrong side. <laughs> Super cute animals. This is um, Jane McDay. animals and then Edwina McNally's dreamlings definitely get to stay. Um these are the ones that I want to get rid of. Oh there's Deborah Muller. Oh mystical lands. Okay let's look at these. This fantastic Wonder. Let's go up there. And that. A little stressful patterns. Okay. Stressful patterns. <laughs> Greatness. I just don't don't think I'm going to use these guys. Ignore the dings. Oh, <laughs> I know you can probably hear my computer dinging. Sorry. There you go. That's smart tool to your grandkids. I don't have kids or grandkids, so you know, not really. Doesn't really work for me, but you can give them to friends' kids. We'll see. I'll go through them. Coloring book for adults, hummingbirds. These are pretty. But it's all hummingbirds. Meh. I don't care for the line art in this. Yeah, it's sometimes, I'm like, why didn't I do this before I moved, but I guess I wasn't ready to just part with things. <laughs> Color me masks. I don't think I'm ever going to color these masks, but it's a cool idea. Cloudy Ink Envy. Again, more tattoo books that, like, I just picked up off of Book Outlet because I thought they were cool. Like, they were cheap. <laughs> Actually color probably not. Okay. Stained glass coloring book. This one I may hold on to. Yeah, I do like these. That one's neat. Sort of survived. Oh it is, it just for now. No, this will go in a maybe pile. I'm gonna put all these together, I think. We'll see. Alright. Airy. ABC. Kind of bang. Um, so for Kind of bang, I have mythographic animals. Oh, what is stuck in there? Oh, another coloring book cafe. Um, mythographic animals and mythographic aquatic which I do, these intimidate the crap out of me, but I really like them. So I'm going to hold on to them for a little longer, especially animals. Um, and we'll see. We'll reevaluate eventually. Eva Brown, there's the cow bang. Yeah. Also down here I have Darice. Oh, and Erica. Holy crap. 
Nature's Wonders. I'm just gonna pass this one on to and then the other coloring book cafe is floral designs which I'm gonna pass on. There's a new mythographics. So there's a bunch of mythographics. Not anymore. Yeah some of them are, I know I have friends messaging me but M. That's true. That's true. Mythographic. Yeah, maybe we will keep them under M. See, that's the problem is like some of these books I think of as um like their title and others I think of <clears throat> uh, the artist. So it's tough. But yeah, I think you're right. I think graphic should go by itself. And then I have... Oh, what's that? Oh, patterns. A patterns book. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. <laughs> that was that was easy. Um, Camilla de Erico. See, these I like... <laughs> kind of like having them together down here. But if I have the shelf space, I might as well put them on shelf they belong like in the order they belong on did I put my tiny books there too <coughs> dilemmas but yeah pop mega mermaids um, my roommate got me this book and I have been wanting it forever I almost bought it and then I got it for my birthday so that's awesome but ABC uh, to Erico, would D apostrophe go before DA? Probably. That makes sense to me. And then to me, the Victoria. Draws on soul. <clears throat> Harry. A, B, C, D, D, T, any more D? No. N. Oh my god. <laughs> Question is, will I ever be able to get them back off the shelf? C D E F G H G H. I think H is next. Hannah Lynn, which I think of her as Hannah H. So, and I only have one of physical book of hers. Everything else is a PDF. And Danielle, you sent it to me. It's the Fairy Tale Princesses. <clears throat> And then the sacred animals is Lydia Hess, so that'll go next. Or no, it won't. <laughs> Harrison will go next. Molly Harrison, I have. Um, God damn it, my computer went dark again. Um, Whimsical World, the big book. And then Chinthaka Harath. And then Lydia Hess. <clears throat> now I can fix the computer. I hate technology, guys, sometimes. We could put half by artist, first name, and half by their last name. <laughs> yeah, Camellia was first. I think it's just the way that I'm thinking of them. Because the shelf makes sense to me. So... <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm fine with it. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. Uh, and then Heidi Hornsby, who is a fellow color tuber, 
her lovely book, um, Tortured Tales. Love this book. I need to color in it. And then I've got um, the Majestic Owls one. Um, and then, what is this? Which I... Oh shoot. K-K-L H <laughs> I I don't think there's any I or J last names last names K not that I can think of L Hannah Lynn but no, I don't think of her as Hannah Lynn I think of her as like the H Hannah M so then yeah the day Color super cute animals, which I do really like this one. You know, it's Zen Doodle. Um, let's look at the shelf. Um, you know, molar, but I'm keeping all the Zen Doodle books together. Carla Magana. Tropics, Bell Pipistrelle. I think these are the only four Magadas I have. A and G. No. Um, Lulu Mayo. Million <clears throat> Dolls. Oh, whoops, there's another handle in. I have enchanted faces, but this is so tiny. I think I'm going to keep it separate. So for Mayo, I have a million owls, a million dogs, a million sloths, and a million mermaids. Let's see how they show up on the shelf. Ugh. They're actually okay. Alright, and then anything else in? press. Get rid of that one. A lot of these I think I'm actually going to get rid of. Alice in Wonderland. I'm never going to color this. This is Charles Centaur, I think, is the artwork, but. And then the colorful hearts. I don't think they'll ever color either. <coughs> Is Kirby K a K or an R? Kirby's an R. Rosanna's. <laughs> Everybody thinks the same. I think of it as an R, though. That's so funny. Everybody thinks of it differently. For which one, Toll? Which one do you want? I'll set it aside. The Charles Santor one? Or the hearts. Which one? Yes. <laughs> this one? I'm sure, I, I can't imagine it's this one, so I'm assuming it's the Alice. I'll set it aside, for sure. Sorry, my side is so delayed. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, first of love to color. I think I'll skip out on that one too. I saw, oh, excuse me. I saw Jade Summers coming out with a Valentine's book and I'm very excited. 
It looked really cute. Cute Valentine. Is it called Cute Valentine? I feel like it is. Um, okay. So LM. If the graphic would go on the end. So we have Lulu Mayo and then McNammy. I'm Una McNammy. McNamee, I don't know how to say it. I have Winter Dreamlings and Autumn Dreamlings. And then again, I have a bunch of. Hold on. Please go in. I have a bunch of Deborah Muller, but um, Miss Fantastic is the only one that I have physically. Yeah, uh, the dings are um, crimes mess in there. The Jade Summer Valentine's one is by the lady that doesn't work for them anymore. Whoops. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Yikes, so that's... Yeet. I don't know, I feel like that's a sticky situation. <laughs> Alright, cool. So... I don't like the space up here. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I can get over it. So yeah, so Deborah Muller, and then I have two Karen Myers books, I believe, which I kind of wish she would come back. Um, Color with Donna sent me these, or at least one of them, and maybe I bought the other. Um, but A Mystical Land's Christmas, so cute. Um, and then Christmas, book two. <laughs> so they're just adorable little, like, um, Quinn, if you're still here, you were talking about, like, cottage core. I don't know that term, like, super well, but is this kind of, like, what you're thinking? Like, I don't know, when I think cottage core, I think, like, cozy. And these are super cute. I don't know if you're still here, but... Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I feel like they probably, since they've probably paid her already, then it's their work at that point. <clears throat> okay, so there's M. And then got Karen Myers and then with the graphic. Um, Alright, and I think that's all that's gonna fit on that shelf. Oh shit. H I J K. I have the Denise Clet um Mermaids in Paradise that I forgot. Is okay. <laughs> so that's gonna go up here too. H I H I J K L. One more. Ta da. Okay. I really need to color out of that book. the way that some of these stick out more than others and I know it shouldn't but it does L M M L we have Emily Light of All Over which was gifted to me by lovely Danielle wait Jade Summer Jade Summer is S Summer I'm trying to go by last name but I know most of them are by last name but like Creative Haven, I'm just doing Creative Haven. Oh, I see. Demita Victoria is a V though. But I think of them as Demita. <laughs> <coughs> and again, Hannah Lynn is Hannah, so. I'm just gonna leave them. If I decide to change my mind later, I'll switch it. But yeah, Emily Lina Hall Oberg is O. M N O P. Ouch. I don't think I have any P. Ow. I got like a zit on my forehead and now, now I scratched at it, so it's itchy. <clears throat> Should I put um yeah, this one's gonna go up there too. 
And then my LA book. This is a Japanese book. Um, I saw this on, who was it? Was it Coloring Kid? Oh my god. Francis. What's her channel name? Coloring F, I think. Um, I saw this on her channel because she also does ballet and I was obsessed. But yet again, I'm too afraid to color in it. <clears throat> but yeah, there's almost like a story to it. It's so cute. And I think it's out of print now, so I'm glad I picked it up when I did. Yeah, all the ones that are like fancy, I'm gonna put up there. I guess Kirby could go up there too, but Johanna's down here, so. Um, I guess I could leave Emily's book down here. Nah, it can, it can stay. Where should I put it? Because I know this is, I'm sure if I buy any more books, a lot of them are going to be color by number, so I'm going to leave space up there. Move it since it is a company, Jade Summer would be Jay. <laughs> It probably, you're right, it probably would be Jay. In that case, like, most of these would need to be moved around, but I'm just putting in an S. I have more space down here. <laughs> uh, do I put Kirby and Joanna up here? No, they need to stay in their hole. So technically then this one should come down. But the Japanese ones can go up there. This one's tall so that can stay, and these are all like hard back fancy. I'm gonna let it all over. L M N O. Ah, fudge nuggets. I missed a keg. Color kick. Beach. Put it, I'm gonna put it up here. Alright, now the graphic are gonna move down the shelf. Rosanna's Cooksless. Jen Racine. Oh, I love this book. Woman Wonder. I love this picture too. <clears throat> oh, okay, one word. What the book? What's the book called? Chubbies? Um, where did I put it? Yeah, it's called Chubbies. <laughs> um, chubby Animals. Summer fun. It's by Color Kick. And they're chubby. <laughs> they're so cute. Can you guys hear the fireworks? <laughs> it's the Magic Kingdom fireworks. Alright. So then, yeah, R for Rosanna's. S. <clears throat> I don't know if I want to keep this one. I was keeping it to like practice stuff, but the paper's kind of weird. And I feel like I need this year to be the year of just like jumping in and doing stuff, like not this. Like if I mess up, I mess up. Yeah, I said, I originally said R for Kirby. Kirby Rosanna's. 
Because, and I think some of that is because I can clearly see which books are his. So it really doesn't matter where I put them. <clears throat> Thank you, Tammy. Yeah, that deer picture was fun. Yeah, I'm close enough to hear the fireworks. I can, if I went into my roommate's room right now, I'd be able to see the fireworks. <laughs> we can't see like the castle or the ground ones because the trees are too high, but we can see them. <laughs> <sighs> this is tough because now I'm into books where like it's the publishers. No limitation, these are pretty. Actually, not so many anymore. I really only have those two. I think I'm gonna hold on to this one. <clears throat> now, should I put this in M? Probably. Mandala Meditation, because the book is, or like the publisher is Sterling Lee Dose. But I feel like I should put it in M. Or do I just put my mandala books up here? <laughs> I don't think I have other ones up here. Yeah, let's do that. I'll put this up here with these mandalas. Because I got rid of most of the mandala ones. Like Zen Doodly. Except for Jade Summer. Whatever's in that Jade Summer pile is going to be in there. All right, now what's the verdict on this one? Cinnamon bun dreams or squishables? Because I know it's the squishables book, that's why I bought it. So to me, it makes sense to put it in an S. <coughs> yeah, the chubbies makes me laugh every time I see it. <laughs> Maybe I'm not missing the chat. Oh no, it's in top chat instead of live chat. I probably am missing chat, I'm sorry. Oh shoot. Yeah, I'm sorry y'all. Yes, we do. We need to do the group body color. And if it makes sense for us, do us. Okay, it's gonna stay in us then. I was just curious what y'all were gonna say. <clears throat> Christmas to color though, again, is another like random one. It's published by Harper, but like it says Tanana. Mary Tanana is the artist. But again, it really doesn't matter where I put it because like it's clear as day Christmas to color on this side. So maybe I'll just leave it down here so I don't have to squeeze another book up there. <clears throat> All right, so S, but SU comes before SQ. <clears throat> so let's see what Jade Summer books I have because I honestly don't know. I'm so torn on this, but I think I want to hold on to it. It's like, I don't know. It's one that for some reason I just can't let it go. I don't think Elizabeth has a channel, but she's more active on Instagram. I don't think I'm going to separate Christmas out. <laughs> Did you answer your own question there, Daniel? <laughs> I think I'm going to put it up here because it's so freaking random. Y'all, I, I don't have a thousand books, but I clearly have a problem. <laughs> For me, personally, like, not saying that a thousand books is a problem, it's just me. Like, I'm like, oh my god, like, there's so many. <laughs> and then I'm looking over there at my, like, actual reading books and I'm like, oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> Oh, you're answering toll. Okay. Got, oh, okay. I see. Sorry. Yeah, no, she doesn't have a channel, but she is on uh, Instagram. Yeah, let's put this up here with the other random book. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, I got like lightheaded all of a sudden. I should probably drink, drink some water. Reading books are easier to alphabetize. 
And I think that's because there's already an established system, <laughs> like, which, I mean, obviously there is, but like reading books, you think of like the Dewey Decimal System and like how that's set up, it's already there. <clears throat> yeah, it's more direct. But my reading books, I don't want to alphabetize, I put them by genre. <laughs> so. I mean, for the most part, but like I've kept all my book of the months together and stuff. Which I'm still waiting on my box and it makes me very sad. <clears throat> it's supposed to be here Monday. But yeah, and I've gotten way better about like when I read a physical book, which I've really made a switch to audiobooks, so like even if I have the physical, often I'm listening to it on audio, because I can listen to it at work and not have to like carry the book around. Um, but like if I'm not, if it's not like a five star, I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> Where's the girl on Instagram? Oh, me too. I've always been bad at Instagram though. Size order. That's cool. <laughs> I love that. Card catalogs are like super useful though. Okay. Back to business. Um. <clears throat> well, I guess if I'm putting that mandala book up there, I'll put this mandala book up there. Or like the um, one I printed out and then the dollar store one. <clears throat> I'll try not to bend Jay's book. There we go. This one <laughs> gonna have to go up there with the other massive books and then I think I'm actually gonna put Christmas to color up there with this miscellaneous bunch <clears throat> Ooh, I need deodorant <laughs> caught a whiff of my pets look <laughs> I literally have no filter <laughs> sorry if you're new here <laughs> We have R. Jen Racine is also an R. She goes before Dirty Rosanna's. Right. Dots, lines, coloring book. Needs to go up there somewhere. Get the survivor bill of fix. Um, I still don't know if I want to keep this one. So I have stained glass covered by number, but some of these are really pretty. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, summer. Jade Summer. I don't think you can see me down here. I used to alphabetize, now I mostly put them in size. Oh, I read that already. Um, Oh, I have no idea. <clears throat> I do not know. I'm sorry, Amanda. I am in, by no means a gamer. Maybe Sam can answer that. Danielle, doesn't he game? Sammy Buttons for the win. <laughs> All right. Um, Jade Summer. Can you see me? There's such a delay on my side that I don't know if you guys can see me. I have no idea what any of that is. What's ring? Alright, there we go. Now on my side I'm about to sit, even though I've been sitting for about three minutes. You can see, you can see me. Kinda. If I hold the books up. <clears throat> 
So I have Grayscale Fairies, which I also very much love this book. I have quite a few done in here that I really like. I like my weird color palettes, like that one. I went exercise theme, okay. What did I go? Oh, this one I do not like. It's a weird color palette, but I don't like it. It did not come out very well. <laughs> Is that all I've done? I thought I really thought I did more in here. But alas, I guess I did not. Alright, so Jade Summer, uh, Fairies Grayscale. <clears throat> Chibi Horror. This is actually one of my favorite pages I have ever done in it. Oh, not that one. Forgot this had duplicates. Is it this one? The Swamp Girl? Yeah, there it is. I love this page. It's so weird. <laughs> I bet I did. Is your computer live? Like, is the red button lit? Oh. I don't see. I don't know. Let me refresh. Let me just refresh the screen. There we go. Now it's live. Cause you can't see me. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, wait a minute. I'm really not there. What happened? <clears throat> Like I said, I don't game, but like, I've honestly kind of been thinking about the Nintendo Switch. But then I feel like that's just another hobby that I don't really need <laughs> to get obsessed with. <clears throat> yeah, this one I did in September of 2020. I just, I don't know. It came out really cool. Like, I was like, oh, this is going to either be really cool or really awful. And I think it came out pretty cool. Beautiful Flowers by Jade Summer. I might not keep this one. Yeah, because it's just like close-ups of flowers and I don't really see myself coloring those. <clears throat> Alice in Wonderland. I will keep this. This is the Alice Grayscale. Don't think I've colored in this yet. I really need to. I mean, my channel name is Shana in Colorland. Like, come on, Shana. Definitely need to color in that. Um, adult coloring book favorite pages. This one I think I've had forever because this isn't even grayscale. I think this might have been my first Jade Summer before I even really knew like what Jade Summer was. So that definitely stays. <clears throat> Tattoos Volume 3. I will be keeping their tattoo books because they're pretty cool. Uh, this is the first one. And then stained glass patterns. My garishes. <clears throat> See, I'm like, do I keep this or do I keep that other stained glass book? Well, I mean, not or, but do I keep this and that? Because I like this better. And didn't they do this as a color by number? I think they released this one as a color by number. Man. Christy, are you still here? Can you delete that person? That's a super monkey ball. <laughs> oh, it's a game. <laughs> Christy was my mod. How do I mod people? Danielle, would you be a mod? Do you want to be a mod, Ken? Make you a moderator. I think I know how to do it now. Did it work? Sorry, I can take it off if you want, but did it work? Are you a mod now, Kim? Yay, there we go. Thank you, Kim. <clears throat> awesome. Thank you. I was like, I don't even remember who's here anymore. <laughs> So yeah, stained glass patterns. <clears throat> Hawaii grayscale. Wait, wasn't that? Maybe the Jade Summer. Let 
the patterns. I guess it's not stained glass, they're just very similar. <clears throat> cool. Um, yeah, and then the kawaii, which I also don't think I've colored in. Hold on, let me, wait. I thought I did a dancer in here. Pretty cool too. <clears throat> I miss coloring. <laughs> oh, dang it, it's back on Top Chat again. Thank you. There we go. All right, cool. <clears throat> then we have Halloween patterns. This one's fun. Jade Summer's books don't have the black background anymore, do they? And then Halloween coloring book. This one is also super cute. I know I did a bat page in here somewhere. You would think it'd be easier to find the pages you've colored. <laughs> they don't, like, stick out. I guess that's why we put tabs in them. But I know I did one in here. Must have thought. In the heck? There it is. Jeez. Yeah, the bats. And glitter. Glittery bats. <clears throat> Alright, Halloween, Halloween. Halloween. Cute and spooky, which I have not colored out of because it got buried. There's the Chitty Girls horror book. Put that together. Try to organize these a tad. And then uh, 100 Swirls. I think Elizabeth sent me this one. It's fun. Patterny. Look. And then. Wait, this is sunlight drawing. Oopsie. S L M N M comes before N. So sun life. See now this one I would put sun life. It's overdrawing. <laughs> yeah, black and white patterns. I think. Who sent me this? Somebody sent me this. And Kathy from Belgium. <clears throat> so, Sun Life and then Summer. And then Christmas. 100 images, three books in one. Giant Jade Summer books. <laughs> um, this one first. Okay. Okay. Fantasy esque. Chibi Girls is in my box. do with these guys. They also don't really fit anywhere. Come on, man. What is this? this is Noodles and Doodles. Christy, I think you sent me this. Noodle Doodles. <laughs> That's cute. Oh my gosh. They're really cute. No N comes before, but everyone random at the end. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But, because I'm thinking S, you're thinking of the J, 
tall, I think. And I'm just thinking S-U-M versus S-U-N-L-M-N-O-P, right? <clears throat> Either way, it really doesn't matter. I only have one because the rest of the sun life are up in the color by number. Yeah, noodles and doodles can go random at the end. Most I have down here. Touch of Asia coloring book. Yeah, I'm not going to hold on to this. This was also from Coloring in Classics. I did think it was cool, but like, I'm never going to color it. Colorings. Okay. I don't know if I want to hold on to this. I am. I'm going to. But I'm going to put it in S because. That publisher is way too small, so SG. You go before these. Or like you said, just put them at the end, random. Randomly at the end. <laughs> Squishables. Let's put those in here. Or actually, this one's pretty special to me, so that can go up there. This was like, this was the first book that got me into adult coloring. Like, I wanted to try something out in this book, and then I found Color Tube. <laughs> Are we having a debate about the alphabet? <clears throat> I'm just kidding. All right, and then we got all the Zen Doodles. So I'm just gonna read the titles off. I have. Uh, Chubby Chair, these are all Deborah Muller first, um, and then Jeanette Wommel. Oh wait, there's a couple Deborah Muller down here, but they're colored by number. These are colored by number, they should be up top. So the colored by number ones I have are play Playful Pets, <coughs> Stained Glass and Spring Awakening, two by Deborah Muller, and then Playful Pets is Jeanette Wommel. Yes, because you're wrong. <laughs> I will not be that much longer, but if you need to go, go ahead. It's totally fine. L M N L M N, yeah. L M N O P. Oh, geez. I'm an idiot. <laughs> You're correct. Then I'm like, do I just put there's only one non colored by number, do I just put it up with Sun Life? Which I pretty much think I'm going to do, because there's only one, and I have all the Sachin books up here, too. They give me dyslexic sometimes, or like, just not think, so you're correct. Don't. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't. I'm tired. <laughs> Alright, color my number, Zen Doodle. <laughs> I need like a separate Disney shelf or like Disney cart or something. Okay. Then I have the regulars on doodles. So the regular ones are um, Chubby Cherubs, Dogs on Vacation, Furry Friends, Kitties in Cities, Lovable Llamas, Magical Mermaid Kitties, Naughty Puppy, Rainbow Unicorns, or Deborah Muller, and um, Secrets of the Sea and Outrageous Owls. <clears throat> and then Jeanette Wommel, I have Baby Animal Safari, Baby Forest Animals, Baby Farm Animals, Baby Zoo Animals, Unicorn Dance Party, Baby Animals on Parade, Baby Animal Winter Carnival, which I said I was going to keep out, that's why it was over there. Sleepy Sloss, oh wait, that's Deborah Muller. And Baby Unicorns by Jeanette Wommel. <clears throat> Sleepy Sloss is Deborah Muller. Alright, and then. Oh, that stays out. Um, Yellow Wind is Tiny. We can all go at the end. Oh. Tell me when W. Maybe. Oh my god. 
v w x p u v so well but these are zen doodles so this but that doesn't matter that's a z it still needs to go over here <laughs> I have Nishana Webb, the 75 best, and Falloween. Oh my god. And then Maria Zatino. We'll put, we'll just, I know this is not alphabetical, but that can go there, and then the Zen Doodles can be at the end. And then the random ones at the end, very, very end. Or before the Zen Doodles, actually. Oh my god. Ah! Avalanche. Alright. This is not, <laughs> not going great for me. Where's the keynote? Let's put the maze books and the dot to dot over here too. Or should they go up there? No, they can go at the end here. Because they're like so random. And then Enchanted Faces. And oh. I have this one. Living Colors. I think this might be the one that um, they did. Who's Zen Doodle's biggest fan. <laughs> I, but I don't like all of them. I don't like some of the artists. Um, like the Fantastic Creatures one I don't like. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Um, okay. <laughs> Sam's practicing his guitar. That's fun. Um... But yeah, so I have Living Colors, which I do like some of these. I don't know. But am I really, like, would I rather have this or the... I think I like the other ones better. Like the ones that I have, but... Ugh. Nah, I think I'll sacrifice her. And then I just have the teeny books. <clears throat> Um, Advent Calendar, Teeny Tiny Festival of the Arts, which I don't know if I'm ever going to color in this again, but I probably wouldn't donate and I'll probably just get rid of it. The Tiny Christmas Ornaments and Teeny Tiny Reptiloids. So, I think I've only done one in here. Do I even like it? I don't know. I don't remember. It was a buddy color with Emma. Oh yeah, I do. Well, I kind of like it. It came out a little dark. Yeah, Festival of the Arts 2019. So I might put this more in like my keepsakes box um, rather than just like throwing it away because it's got stickers. <laughs> so I probably won't toss it. Which that's the next thing I need to go through but would never bore you guys with is like all the crap that I've saved. But I also kind of want to like art journal it, so. But yeah. Anyway. So my tiny, tiny books can go on the end here. <clears throat> and get crushed by the rest of them when they all fall down. But yeah, I've got three more shelves. That doesn't mean I should fill them, but I've got three more shelves. So that's good. I really did uh, cut down a lot. Because my floor is an absolute disaster. <laughs> oh god, what have I done? <laughs> now I have to decide what like is worth giving to you guys and what's worth um like just donating to Goodwill, like what I think you guys would want. So any suggestions, let me know. <clears throat> yeah, Festival of the Arts is awesome. 
Yeah, mission chapter one is all good. <laughs> Yay. So, it's a pretty good start to the coloring year, I have to say. And I've been on live stream for hours and hours and hours. I never thought I'd be this person, but this was so worth it. <laughs> so thank you all for, like, hanging around for so long. Um, you're seriously the best. I don't know if this will ever upload. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I am going to pop off, so yeah, thank you, and I need a bigger box <laughs> for all the stuff I'm getting away. <coughs> yes, I appreciate it. Thank you for um, helping me with the alphabet, because I can't alphabet. <laughs> it's proven multiple times. I'm 28. I'm going to be 30 soon. And, like, yeah, we're just skipping 29, but anyway. Um... Yeah. Eventually I'll be 30 and, like, I still can't say the alphabet in the right order. <laughs> anyway. Thanks, guys. Thanks for, um, moderating at the last minute there, Kim. Um, I usually don't have random people pop on because I don't always have that many people in my lives, but I guess it can happen to anybody. So, <clears throat> yeah. Alright. Oh, my back kind of hurts. Now I just have to clean up my floor. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Um, yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna try to get some um, other stuff filmed since I'm still out tomorrow and then Monday and Tuesday are my regular days off, so I have three more days off until I get back to work. Um, yeah. Alright. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Love y'all, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! <coughs> oh no, I'm gonna have a coughing attack. <laughs> Right here at the end. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> oh jeez. <coughs> I'm just gonna walk off camera. <laughs> Bye y'all.